Welcome to another edition of Zero Conditions Podcast. The producer was having the most fun behind the scene and killed me in like two minutes ago. I'll be sorry, two seconds ago. And the melody, 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 but it's fine. As a hot babe that I am, I got this under control. I'm back in the building. I've got the one and only AO22. Adia, you're supposed to be here. Thank he's you. not yet here. Like a typical Nigerian man, he's been saying, I'm outside. You see me now, you see me now, you see me now. I've not seen you now, but it's calm. Clan is still not back. Guys, I didn't swallow Tonani. Look at me. Milo Larami, where can he literally be? Everybody, what do you do to Tonani? I didn't do nothing to him. He's at work. He's been busy with work and he's not even back in Nigeria. But yes, but we got you. Ayo Titu, how are you feeling? I'm good, I'm good. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm doing my best. You are really doing your best? Yes, I am. Tipping is... The only tipping I know is the one signed to convicts. <laughs> You gonna burn in the Madini Shadi. I don't know. See, I'm putting out there, I do not know who T Pain is. The only T Pain I know is the one that signed to convict music. But that was signed to convict music. Are you a Nigerian? Yes, I'm a Nigerian. Unfortunately, I am. Unfortunately, that's yes. fine. Who's your president? My president is Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So are you trying to act like you're not aware of it? I think I just came in. Why are you sitting down? Maybe you come in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tolani City did. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So are you acting like you don't know that they call your president TP? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know at all. Just you don't know? Who? Your president that they call your you president? Are you not in Nigeria? Uh, Who is the Nigerian president? You're yeah, not okay. <laughs> you are a president? <laughs> you guys, please. Who is, who is currently in the country among the one they left, who calls himself the president? They left portable the for us. They left portable in charge of the house. <laughs> the, the vice president went to Sweden. The president was in France. France is closer to Sweden. The president left, the VP left Nigeria and went to Sweden. I don't know who's doing the thinking for them. But there's no thinking going on. But the funny part is, Adia is supposed to talk about music and culture, spends so much of his time talking about Nigeria. Because I'm suffering, me. man. I'm suffering. I Adia is better. always ranting about Tinubu and Nigeria on social media. Yeah, because I pay my taxes, right? Like, say, first week of every month, I get a message from LRS, blah, 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 has been paid for you as your tax, and I see that and I, I'm pissed, like, why this? Because you guys are not doing nothing for me. I pay for my own water. I pay for my own light. I pay for my own security. Petrol. I, I like, I fall my distance. Like, crazy. So what's the, what am I paying taxes for? So that's right. And I, I, I make, I make sure I, whatever, privi- whatever policy or, um, this Reform. thing, not even that, like, uh, this, uh, loan, apply for this. I always apply. Even though I don't need it, I will apply. Like, there's this CNG Keken Apep that just shared. I applied. They never get <laughs> Just driving Keken Apep. And then I just want... See, this guy, this is media aid. Olusha Gudada, yeah. He's always say, yeah, don't, don't make your hatred for the president make you lose out on his policies. So I, I, I applied... Okay, you try, yeah, to yes, see that it works. To see yeah. that it works. So when I'm cursing him out... I will be like, I have a good Informed, yeah. yeah I have a good so do they announce these things on social media? Like yes. the, the media... The no, 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 they do. They do. They do. That, that guy goes hard. He's always talking about the policy, even though I think they are just useless policies. But he's always, always going about it. I think they are one-sided policies that is just like making the poor poorer and the rich richer. But he's always on about it. So when I saw that CNG thing, I applied. They asked for a lot of information. I put it. They shared, I think, 1,500 or is it 2,000? CNG, Kekena Peps, which they kicked off the initiative. And yeah. You know they are going to give it to their party members. Also, they, also right. for I think they're doing for downfalls too. Yeah, CNG. Mm. I'm not, actually, I don't so, know so this transport, is, but I'm do not they, a downfall CNG. Sure. Do, they, do they announce it on social media like this is where to apply? Do they give that info yeah. on social media? Yeah, the link is there. Yeah, oh. yeah it's there. Oh. You oh. click like you don't, you don't, your, your, the your algorithm on Twitter. Apply for low self, credit call. Are you for me? Your, co- your algorithm on Twitter is not is not national focus. That's your problem. No, yeah. so it's a gender focus. No, I actually don't. Feminist and Beyonce no, I actually, focus. I actually don't do social media as much anymore. Like I think I spend Ooh. like five, ten minutes on Twitter. Why, why, why is that? I'm barely surviving. I don't have time. Yeah, you don't like you prefer triggers, Instagram. Triggers, Abby. There's too much. To, I don't even do Instagram. Really? What was the time I posted on social media? I can't remember. Talking. Exactly. I don't Triggers, even. I'm not yeah. active on social media anymore. Like there's just so much going on in my life. Like I don't even have time. I do social media like five, ten, t- five, ten minutes every day, and I'm like, okay, so what's going on today? Oh, nice, fantastic. I try to keep right, up. Cool. I try to keep up. Try to keep up, actually. Try to keep up because you don't know if they'll say the country. So just yeah. let us know who the new leader. I mean, is. I watched Oju Zakalu yesterday on on channels. What did he say? And he, he said it was like the typical Nigerian politician say a lot without saying anything. Of course. Ended up saying Tinubu is a brave man. Why is he brave? Because he goes out at night to see the situation of the country. Oh, I saw that. He say he's a brave man. He see how what is happening in Abuja at night. Yeah, so when I saw that, I was like, people so are who is suffering. That's what's happening. Night. What are you going to see? People are suffering. 
Even well, if you want to see people suffering, it's definitely not at night. Come out during the of day. Of course, it's light. Tinubu does it. I don't think Tinubu is cognizant of his own, his, his, his own, like he doesn't know where he is at some point. I, that man is old. If you go home to his grandkids, but, I mean, you guys could arrest Adia here. 2027. That's all I can say. When the democracy. Please, what happened in 2027? Please, let's speak about what we know. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, let's forget politics. But yeah, but before we move on from politics, do you guys have plans to Jackba? Honestly speaking, no, no, no. Let's see the Nigerian, <laughs> the Nigerianness. If there's such a thing in me, it would not permit me to to publicize or oh, yes, you can't yes, publicize. Such I agree. Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> you keep okay. it. It is fine. I I, I, I respect. <laughs> I respect that. I definitely respect and I understand it. Please, guys. I know that there's so much going on with Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So much going on with the economy. I feel like the dryness that is Nigeria. Because I feel like Nigeria is very dry. And it's depressing. As for me, oh, Nigeria is very, very depressing. I feel like I've gone, I've gone into my bandwidth. And my escapism used to be like music, mm -hmm. but now music is worse. What's going on? You guys, what do you mean worse? You mean it's not banging the way it used it's to be. It's not plan. banging. You know the enter, see the yeah. enter yeah. What's I mean, going you're on? You're not alone. Is it me yeah. that feels that way? No, is it because of I'm older? No, 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 no. It's, 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 it has grinded to a creative halt, yeah. basically. Only a few outliers. Within a year, you can't still say, "Oh, this has been such a phenomenal year, or great year." I don't think we have a smash hit this year, like an outright smash hit. Like, the, like every the one with David Don now. You call is debatable. Okay, okay, she in a very in a solid year. You know, okay, she will not make top ten songs. Ah, like I disagree. Ashaka had like eight top ten songs in 2022 alone. Only him. Then there's Buga. So I don't know, like. Okay, she is like a clear it this year based yes. off the context people, of this year. But people also say that it's a good song. Okay, okay, she was no, no, I'm not saying it's a good song. It's I think it deserves to be like I, I feel okay, like the regardless of the year. So if, that you, if you speak to people in the yes. East, they'll yeah. say Okay, she was yeah, a it's hit. A hit. Yeah, 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 but it's, it's, I don't know if he has a national spread the way others. They will give the national spread. Yeah, they will eventually give it because of that the event of him marrying his wife and everything, you know, but. Like the longevity of it all, or is it like a defining yeah. record? Yeah. Is it like when you're talking about the year, is it a conversation starter? Like, oh man, this year yeah. it was this record. I don't feel so. I don't, everything is fragmented now. It feels it fragmented. Does, like the run, is, the run is not there. Yeah. Like, like right now, is it song right now? No. No. When was it dropped? A couple of months back. When did it peter out? Very shortly. So, like, that's not, like, we have to, there's a lot of explanation, a lot of shalai going on, like, oh, this, like, so now we have to contextualize and see it's a digital eat, mm. it's a radio eat, it's, it's a chat, it's a chat eat. I mean, when a song is emphatically a eat, it's a eat. I mean, there are people who believe Ashake featuring Whiskey MMS is a eat song. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they do. I don't think so, but they do. They think it's a eat song. So. Uh, so, within the context of this year, would we say it's a eat song? Possibly. I don't think that any song. Or many of the songs don't have like a, a wide consensus as is a hit. Yeah. So a lot of you know some people in the streets will tell you ah MMS is the thing. Some people who don't actually are not into like the streets will tell you they don't understand why MMS is a hit. Or some people say Ozebai is a jam. It's a jam. Yeah. And some people tell you that we don't understand what MMS is doing. Unlike the days before when an Ashake whiskey David Bonner would drop. When Bonner boy dropped last last, it was all disputed. Why? Yeah. It's a, it's a hit. It's a I mean, hit. Egu service. I think that's like the last definitive hit we what really had. That? Egu, Chiki, Mobad. Yeah, that was a hit. Of course. Like so. proper hit. Was Twitter Twitter remix a hit? Twitter huh? remix. It's too short. Yeah, it was a short. Yeah. It's too short. I think the original was more of a hit than the original. I think you should have the original run a little bit more. Yeah. God, I, I love that song. No, that's that original. I that's, love it. I wrote an article on that song. Kiss, that Kiss knows how to mix it. Where, yeah. like, what about his new song? Maraba, right? I think I, I like... He's picking, you know. I like, I like Maraba. He's speaking like I speaking. like Maraba. What I like Maraba is that I think I think it's different. This is one of those artists steering the music into the direction it should be going. Yes, mm. it's, it's, like yes, like okay, we need evolution, right? We've been we've we've done the Amar piano fusion for two three it's years played now, out, and it's, it's played, played out. out. It's it's it's, it's reached a like cheat point, yeah. right? Like there's nothing new you want to bring. I think the last new thing that came out of Amar piano was Kisses or Japiano. Like there's nothing else you want to do again now. So I think we need to look inward because we cannot be waiting. For a sound to pop up from another part from of the Kenya, world, from Kenya, Ethiopia, Kenya, or from Ghana. Lash on to I mean, Ghana. Okay, <laughs> we've done Ghana. We've done the pop up. Yeah, we've done everything, right? So I think 
we have to look within. That era, Kiss, Arewa sound. Yeah, Kiss is one of is those guys bringing that northern flavor. You know, he did with Twitter, that no pay kind of bounce. Yes. Now he's doing it with Maraba too. That's like that, that have that northern Arabian yes. kind of flow. And this guy did Gen Z yeah. food. Gen yeah. Z. Yeah. First class. First class. Yeah. First class. So it seems Arewa. that yeah. that part of the country is opening up to yeah. oh let's contribute to what's yeah. happening yeah. pop yeah. music in Nigeria. It makes sense. But, and I think that that is actually a very very um, beautiful untapped music space in Nigeria, the, the northern side of things. It, it is because a rich of, space, yeah. Yes, Creatively. because of how conservative people are in that, in that side. We've not been able to see a lot of expressions of that sound from yeah. the northern side. And the way that some of these artists have been going about it has been really, really good. I, I, I think I find it very, very interesting. I mean, once we can unlock the north in terms of even streaming, I mean, we have to first of all, like, maybe... Infrastructure. Like, yeah, but... Because it's not even deal with the economy. That. It, yeah, yeah. It, once we have that internet, internet penetration and that disposable income to yeah. unlock our population in terms of streaming, yeah. well, it's over. It's over. Like, our artists would be eating good digitally because, like, uh, an imagine artist would be comfortably recording 20 million streams on a song, like, just from within Nigeria alone. And mm. because, I mean, nearly 200 million people and we struggle to give any song 10 million streams from within Nigeria. I mean, it, it doesn't yeah. tell well for yeah, us. So. it doesn't tell well for us. So, now speaking about, now that we've spoken about the music space and like, there's also a conversation because when people say like, when I'm, when I'm talking about stuff and I'm like, oh God, I don't know, I'm just not feeling the music that um, I used to. People, now, people say stuff like, oh, it's a you problem. Like you as a person, maybe you're not doing the work of going to go and find these songs or you're not doing the work of going to go and find this untapped music. Is it because um, I feel like most people, I'm saying like the feedback, like most people are so concerned about, you know, fucking with the A-list artists that there are so many emerging guys doing fantastic music. Why are people not discovering them? Do you think that's the case? I don't know. They say that a lot. <laughs> it's one of those things. It's one of those, like, you have to contextualize things. It's just like saying artists blowing. Like, they now say, now, blowing is different. When you, you can blow digitally, as opposed to blowing, like, emphatically, like, you know, like, Ashagesh, or the Modu, Shali Popi kind of blow. Right? So, yeah, some people will say, ah, there's good music on the ground, but well, you're them. not finding it. Like, okay, now that I've found it, what next? Would that make it a hit song? Would that make it a hit song? The fact that you're good, you're, you're, you have a good song, and uh, yo, yo, it's not popping. Would that make it a hit song? So people push that blame on consumers. Yes. Like they, they indict the consumers for yeah. not, mm -hmm. like doing you guys the work. are not doing enough to promote guys taking rigs. Okay, that might be true, but the bulk of what consumers get to listen to is what is promoted. To What's them. pushed to them? What's pushed to them? And the people that can aggressively push sound and music are those with the resources. And who, have, who are those with the resources? The biggest guys, the guys with the backing, right? So it's cyclical. It's like, like uh, when you push it, those with the resources to push, push a song, they're the biggest guy. The biggest guys, they think like they're creatively, like maybe like they're not like pushing boundaries. They're just doing what works, what's familiar. And once that become kind of popular, then the guys trying to get the moment to tend to copy what they're yeah. doing. And it becomes, it, it becomes a circle. The it's a vicious yeah. circle. So I don't think, at, at the end of the day, I think it's the, the, the labels, the artists that would have to to um to take a, a like be bolder and take some risks because mm -hmm. they even push it on the media that you guys are not promoting as about to go there now. Like, Ow. so like, let me give you context now let me give you context now so i was reading up on you know conversations about music and different things and you know i feel like you saying that people are sometimes blaming the consumer let's talk about it from this angle i feel like back in the day mm -hmm. we had media platforms that were dedicated to just pushing up and coming artists Imagine pushing that. people that were just emerging not for money not for clouds not for gains but these days it feels like most of the media platforms just pay attention to only the big guys and those those upcoming good guys do not even have the platform to go sing their as, as, uh, to, to go promote their music i saw one artist that was complaining about how he was trying to get on this um show what's not that show now the one where they are in the background doing kung 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 kung. Ah, what's that what's that popular show where they strip down the music and yeah, NPR. You, Tiny, Tiny Desk. Tiny Desk. Yeah. And he was like, he, he was trying to get on Tiny Desk and Tiny Desk told him that he's not big enough to be on Tiny Desk. Yeah, facts. But no, bro, people were now, I can't yeah, remember facts. the artist it's now. It's Tiny Desk. But people were now saying Tiny Desk, that right? Tiny you don't, Desk, you don't have to be Tiny it. Desk got popular of promoting good music, not about popularity of music. Yeah, but good music with big artists, not yeah. good music with up I think people confuse blow. it, right? People confuse when the platform is building. Like, if I start a media company today, right, I would, I would have access to a bit of emerging guys, not 
the not the Bonner boys of this yeah, it world. Makes so you, it makes sense for you to go and get the emerging artists. It makes sense for you to get those you can get first. Then when you get to a plat to a level where you can have access to the big guys, you not forget them. You don't forget them, but you see this is how it works, right? You build an audience. The audience wants to hear something. Uh-huh. Now, like say for example, now I work for a media company, uh-huh. and now there's a bulk of what people who who read our work want to read what Abba. they want to see and is the biggest guys i'm sorry nobody is looking to see what an imagine or no artist is doing i'm sorry it's not no disrespect to them so now you're, you need for a media company you need to have that numbers in the back end to show your investors and sh- to show people who are going to advertise that something is going on here yeah that y- your money when you put your 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 stuff here is going to get a lot of eyeballs right and for you to get those eyeballs you gi- need to give people what they want to see you need to tell them about big brother you need to tell them about whiskey you need to tell them about the video Bonner boy fire boy so and that so you have to give people what they want and then the, what we need to do is just balance and i think i still think nigeria media platform try to balance as well, i think me personally they try, they try more than international yeah. platforms that our artists always go to go to yeah <laughs> Because Fela is not going to pop, put up an upcoming artist, or Billboard is not going to put up an upcoming art in Nigerian artist. Yeah. At the end of the day, or uh, co- uh, colors, colors used to be like oh, very very yeah unknown artists, but now yeah. colors yeah. is now big. So so is that not also affecting the quality and the support that these guys are getting and the quality of music that are at the forefront See, because the these truth, guys are not platforming the truth, good this, guys. This is the thing that we need to let everybody know: music is a very hard business. Yeah. Nobody's going to come and save you. You have to do it to yourself. Yeah, no boy goes give any the leg. There is different. There is different. Era is different. Now we are in an era where now things are digitalized and it's more more expensive. Media is expensive. It's really, really expensive. Now I you, see, to, you, that you cannot that is you cannot afford. Yeah. That is you cannot afford. I have afford. to justify to your investors that I'm putting up these upcoming artists because it doesn't work like that. Yeah. You need to put up the big boys. Media is very when media went on the internet, the the how will I put it now? The financial structure changed greatly. The media really needs people. It needs traffic. And the people that can get to the traffic are the big boys. Big Simple as like that. The big guys. It's, yeah. it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not like nobody wants to support them. It's just that we cannot support you and still have a platform. It's just simple, straight, straight up. Like you can, we cannot like focus on emerging artists and still have a platform. The platform is going to tank because you won't be able to pay for their salary. So there won't be any platform at all. So it's just balance. So that's, why you, need, that's why you need a label. Yeah. No matter what. Okay. So now, speaking on that and extending the conversation to creative marketing, I think that with rollouts these days, music that is being put out, I'm not seeing that over the top, maybe not over the top, but edgy music, like edgy promotion, like creative promotion that we used to have back in the day. Is that a thing that, is it because of people are not using just TikTok or people are just more concerned? Like, I feel like there's been a decline in like creative marketing. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean yeah, I mean, I think. Or, uh, you can correct me. No, 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 I, I think our artists favor ranting now than mm. actually like putting in some, like going to the drawing board and trying to cr- find creative ways. And now, I, I think with, with music, I think with artists that artists are actually very, very easily influenced, more than we can think. More than we can think. Like, if one big artist says something, the rest will likely turn and say it after, after, after time. That's why we have people associated with Afrobeat. It's not one person. Mm-hmm. It's not one person. And everybody who wants to either gain a favor with him or feel like there's somebody to follow that, to that line, right? So, it's even so creatively, if someone does something, someone partners with Childeck, everybody partners with Childeck. So, it's not like, so it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's not really, they, they, they always copy each other, right? So, and it's not really, and it's not, and they don't really tend to, when it comes to Nigerian, I don't think they put enough effort. They just go to Twitter, they rant. Like you, that like some people, who, it's not even, they don't really do rant a lot. Like you're a quiet person. Someone yeah. like Omali, for example, who is a peaceful guy. Omali doesn't go on social media and say a lot of bullshit. Right? And it's all of a sudden, he, has to, he just goes online and starts talking about the story song. I don't get love from the gatekeepers. This and this and that. That was a weird moment. I was like, because nobody know. else really championed your debut album, Boy Alone, more than Gatekeepers. Yes. A lot of Gatekeepers were fighting for your album to be album of the year. Over Shakir's Mr. Money with the Vibe. Yes. I um, know that for a fact. Omale's body of work, and I feel like Omale as an artist is one artist that has always gotten love on social media. I don't always. Think people, don't, I don't do you think know that at some point, sorry, yeah. do you know at some point, fans and lovers of um, Omale we're fighting Omali's label. 
and accusing that him of his label of trying to of not paying attention to his mental health and trying to get him to just how much and trying to get him to just Bro. do music. Like, are you guys <laughs> taking when to I therapy? Heard, that's when what I I'm heard. not proud of of how much I love that guy. Bro. To say yet like this is I've the conversations I've had with people the way I've fairly defended him. Like when you had that issues with let me not say issue with Tony when Tony could have the pen game. The the game the game. I was so livid. <laughs> I was, I was calling my guy, what the fuck would Victoria do that? <laughs> like, why would I, I mean, I love Victoria too, but I mean, like, what, like, this guy, like, we love you guys. But any small ah, thing, people I love get more love from India from Nigeria. Oxley said I get more love from Ghana than Nigeria. Just like, yeah, I never understood that P2. All either. of you guys, even Ruga, I get more love outside than no, within. Like, if you actually think if is the, don't love you, you will blow. Is the downgrading of the Afrobeats audience itself. Yeah, it is yeah. because we don't have money. Because we don't. Ju- it's basically because we don't have money, guys. And because dollar and pounds are more. Yeah, yeah. That was Can I give issue. you guys a POV that you're probably not looking at it from? Which POV is that? The POV of the back end. Hey, that's what yeah, that's saying. the money thing now. Is the back end now? Back end, the shows. These guys check their streaming numbers and yeah. if a particular country is streaming them. But you know the funny thing. Yeah, you won't get to that position if the Nigerians don't. But you know the funny fat. thing. Once you miss, which is obvious anyway, <laughs> once you miss abroad. Uh, we know now. You will see at the job on Monday now. We know you're coming back to get on that momentum and buzz back. Like, so, wh- even your, your, how you blow, like Nigerians, they embrace your music, they amplify. We are very loud about the it. The word of mouth promotion that Nigerian gives you is valuable. What, we don't, have, yeah. what we don't have in money, we have in, we have in, in noise. But if the artists keep saying that they feel like they're getting more love abroad yeah. than they are in Nigeria, are you sure that we should see, we should keep arguing with them about that, or maybe we should ask they why should, they feel that way? So they should give, give me an example of an artist who feels that he does. We said mentioned on Mali. Who again says I said that? that. Rema said it. Oxley said it. I Oxley said it love. recently in Ghana. Like he Ruga said, said it before. So now you, you just see um, Oxley don't say that Ghana shows him more love than Nigeria. I saw the clip. There's nobody. There's no artist I can like categorically see. That if they are willing to be honest with themselves, there's no artist that doesn't get love more, more love abroad than more than than, than, than that there's more there's always more love abroad than at home. Even Jesus Christ had more love outside than within. So now the thing is that why you think you don't get more love within is because the people within will ask more questions. Yes, they will be more critical of you because they'll be more critical of your you. albums. Yeah, it's true. If the average Nigerian listener, I yeah, adore Kanye, right? I, we love Drake, we love Kendrick, but we are not. I as I, I work in media, I do music in media. I would not be as critical as Kanye as or Kendrick okay. or that, I as, as, as Fire Boy as Bonner Boy that are my own people and that I understand more. I saw them from the start. I understand their music more. It's my own. It's practically my job. Is, Same way, Shalame would not be as critical about Ira Star or Rema than he would be true. of Jay Z. Jay Z had that nigga fired. Oh, he got him fired from radio. It's true. And a lot so, of so, so, a lot of buzz they get from America is always engineered and paid for, so people don't really people don't really go in depth and say, oh, this is wrong with this album. But in Nigeria, we know if you do music one kind, we're like, bro, this is not it. Or if you do some bullshit, we'll call you out. And that's what they feel. They, I think they just feel obligated that you know, uh, we that we are national stars, international stars, we don't think we should be getting this kind of criticism from Nigerians, which is a lie. And also maybe because like for people when we have people like Adiyo. And that <laughs> when they drop the album, they will write um, one pager and break down everything. And at the end of the, the thing, you now give them four point five over ten. Well, see, I think, I think, but it's not weakness. It's I, the job. I think it's, I see, it's even, it's even still publicity. But if you take away the fact that it's like it's you, you rather it happen than it doesn't happen. Yeah. Now, so do you think? Do you think that? Do you think that the reason they feel that way mm. is is largely because the Nigerian uh, the Nigerian fans require more from them? Or the Nigerian fans understand how the music should sound and don't, they won't be accepting of anything. But outside of Nigeria, everybody calls everything Afrobeats. Yes. So not that just string it to be like, ah, we love you. We I see some love very you. funny foreign reviews. And yes. I'm like, bro. It's always the home front would demand more because you understand you. You can go to Norway or you go to Denmark to perform Afrobeat. They don't really care that much. They just want well, they don't to really know. You, know you know the perfect they example. Just really they just want to care. perform and they perform you know the perfect example. As I can't store the album, Longo Boy. Yes. Abroad, I already saw. I don't mention the platform, international platform, brave reviews. Meanwhile, in Niger, all the reviewers I knew were like, "Bro, this is this is not yeah. it." Because we know the source, we know where it's from. This is, bro, what are giving us adult, too adulterated for us to consider this top-notch quality. Yeah. Why didn't you guys like Longo Boy? Bro, I, because it's because I I struggle to find a Shakira album. 
Like now, there's Maybe a way, skating, skating, skating. No, no, I don't think that's a good song. Now, there's a way, like obviously could, everybody knows that's not a good song right now. Like you could, you could explain it. Like okay, this Asha. Wait, please hold on. Is it because you guys think Asha cannot skate? No, it's not just. It's, it's just pretentious. That's number one. My that's my biggest issue with the song. No more. I think the song is pretentious. Overreaching. I don't think he can skate. I think I don't think he should be singing about skating because he. I don't think he cares that much about skating. I think it's just the song panders to a particular lifestyle that he embraces because of his status he found himself, and that's not an issue. I did, see if that song was if he sang about skating in a way and delivered it, deliver it in a palazzo kind of way, I wouldn't care because it's a banger and the song is sweet and I'll listen to it. But that when the song is not sweet, it forces you to examine the substance. Mm-hmm. And he's still singing about skating, and you're wondering, and then this video of him skating and falling down. You're like, okay, bro. That was the issue of Lungu Boy. Like, <laughs> Lungu Boy was, first of all, the arrangement of the album. Not great. I struggle to see the brilliance of Ashake on the album. Yeah, the production. The production is very one dimensional for Ashake, where yeah. you listen to a Remember, you listen to a Palazzo, and you're here, you're, the, the production alone is art on its own before Ashake even jumps on it. But now you're hearing this, and you're like, obviously, this was created for people with. Uh, that don't have the, the back knowledge of what he's presenting. Yeah. And they're taking it like that. And he, look at his talk. He has been successful with yeah, it. Yeah, worked. Congratulations, but for Nigeria, bro, apart from MMS, Fuji vibes, Fuji vibration, yeah. one or two, like, bro. Yeah, it's just really Is it also because the fans do not, are not accepting of artists trying new things? No, no, no. Or I, just discovering I, 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 that was, That's a theory that I saw people pushing and yeah, I disagree with. Yeah, because it's like... Remember I tried skating? new thing. I think successful. I think Remember's album is a success. Made in Lagos was new. Yeah. It worked. It worked. Mm. Remember's East is a success. Mm. Irrespective of how I feel about the album. Oh, bro. I feel, I feel, okay, there are things that could have been done differently, but that album is a success. Bro, it's, why, among, it's why a contender play, for album of the year. When you play Ozeba outside of Macha, people go off. They go mad. Like, I heard the like, album outside and I'm like, hey. Yeah, their songs are here. Yeah. See, the thing, my issue, they are, they are, like, hey. I when I hear the album, there are parts where I can't stand, and there are parts where I'm fucking blown away. Like the opening sequence of, say, War Machine, like the hook of Villain, mm. the refrain on Ease, like he, 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 he did. Remember, he did, and he dared to ask the question, he and did. he pulled it off. And not perfectly, off. but he did. Yeah, maybe not perfectly. Maybe he could, he could have done like the, the, a little difference here and there, but he did. And so, I wouldn't say we're not like fully accept, accept, accepted of experimentation. Now, people, I think people. Like they focus solely on what maybe what, what an Adiyo said, what a Tunde said, what an AOT said, <laughs> uh, than what you are actually hearing on the street. Okay, like okay, Adiyo said maybe he doesn't like East a lot, and uh, it says some crazy. I said some crazy, crazy things on Twitter, but you go to the street, people are jamming Ozeba as a man is a hit song. I mean, it's, it's a success, and you, people have started. You can't deny it. It's yeah, there. It's there. It's it's there. Like, so I don't think we do not embrace experimentation if it's done well. Victoria's album. Was critically acclaimed. Yeah, because and it's a very daring album. As Excel, as, you, as Excel once said, <laughs> there's no problem with experimenting. But if you experiment in shit, it will get shit on. That mm. is all. <laughs> Fact, it has to come out even... well. If it doesn't come out well, they go not. They go hammer. Sound is an experiment. Before him, nobody was fusing. Nobody dreamt G, of it. No. I'm a piano with hip hop yep. elements like that. It's, yep. a, it's an experiment that he pulled off, and everybody followed that part, and they took that part. They brought a bit of their own vibe to it. Whiskey has evolved the sound like. Two, three times. Yeah. Two, three times from Superstar. Then he came, in like, around 2015 period, like, he evolved the sound again. Then he came and made the Lagos and evolved the sound again. Three times, only one man. Like, no, everything we're doing in Afrobeat, we got from Whiskey. Like, directly from that guy, from that man. Like, everything people are doing, all new artists, every, like, yeah, most, most pop artists who sing right now, that style is just based on It's just him. Like, it's him. It's the guy. And, like, then you listen to it, 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 some guys now, a lot of them sound like Rema. Yeah, <laughs> right. So it's just like if you do it well, if there are people you applaud you. Grounds, people applaud you. And people if you your miss, you have time to get off stage. It's not hard. So the conversation around um, fans not loving you in Nigeria is just dishonest and just from a, from a place of fear of criticism, right? It's just and it's maybe wanting to gag media, I control remember, media, I, I, I or remember, control the narrative. I remember something that happened when Santi dropped his first album, right? A lot of Nigerian critics didn't like it. So a lot of fans, all their fans were like, yeah, it's Nigerian critics. What did they know about music? Then I think, was it? The Pitchfork guy. Pitchfork guy came in and smashed, um, smashed the album. Yeah, the Good report. or bad? Yes, bad. bad. And nobody talked because they felt, yeah, oh. They reported him. And yeah. Tried to get him suspended. I think they got suspended. Oh, they, they got to get suspended. I think so. They, I think they used to boost about it that actually you got suspended after that review, this and that, this and that. Well, no, I yeah, know. so I think, I think these artists, they know themselves. Right. They know themselves that this is not true. 
and that's the thing there's none of them i cannot look in the eyes and say see you know you are not telling the truth you know if nigerians don't love you you will not blow this is always the starting point you're anyway. not temps temps is the only temps is the only even, anomaly even temps, well, even temps has acceptance in nigeria even temps she had the what's the this song try me try me and it was maybe ioj ioj was one that just blew it, your yeah. number in america yeah. yeah. Because he was not even here. Yeah, he wasn't even starting. He was here yeah, locally, first of all, but he tried, but he didn't just work for out. For real? Yeah, he, he was here locally. He was married by Ayoshonaya. Oh, crazy. He was living in Nigeria. He was, he was living in Nigeria well before, yes. But did he, he was wait, in, so he was, in, was he living in America? Okay, he was then he came to Nigeria. I think he came back, I think he came back yeah. to Nigeria, stayed for a while, I'm not sure. But he was in Nigeria for a while. Then he just went to America, dropped your number, and he blew. Yeah. So what do you guys think about the new whiskey? Which new whiskey? The, the new, new record. Yeah, the new whiskey record. It's the made in Lagos vibe, man. Yeah. It's not a lot of people don't like to hear that. They say, oh, oh yeah, a lot of fans. They feel like it's diminishing. It's, it's diminishing, diminishing. Or diminishing him. The, yeah, diminishing the record or his, his effort. I, I don't think that I don't think you understand that. That's not the fa- that's not what it means. Like, it means that you can tie the sound to a source. It's a, it's a source, and, a source. and that source. source is still flowing till now. It's not like take, it's not yeah. only. Pain. It seems he's not, not ready to leave that yeah, sound. That sound. Yeah, maybe because I've had a snippet where you know the music was faster, it sounded like Afro beats, yeah, Afro beats. Bend down, bend, yeah, do dance. And Let's stuff. wait and see how that goes. But for now, it's still that RB, and I think it makes sense for him because outside of Nigeria, it's called fan base people that will die for him. A UK audience, yeah, the UK, UK in UK, whiskey can do no wrong. So I believe he's just catering to them. Like, you see, you people, I did Nigeria. I'm not too sure of their market. The market yeah, is shaky, and, and it's still like it's still whiskey after all in Nigeria. It's, it's whis- still whiskey. It's, it's Babala. Yeah, it's Babala. Day. Like it's whiskey. Like they would die for him. Like he has a huge fan base in Nigeria. Like at the end of the day, everybody is a whiskey fan. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, everybody. At the end of the day, we're all whiskey fans. Yeah. Because I mean, you cannot. How do you dislike someone you grew up listening to a lot? How can you enter enter a genre and not say you respect what whiskey has done? I mean, it's, it's even away from the music, his impact with the sound yeah, and longevity. achievements. Is, is he's the most influential artist ever in the history of Afrobeat. Ever. Yeah. So do you think that there is a pressure from the fans for whiskey to drop a certain type of sound? I wouldn't say pressure. Maybe there's a demand for something An expectation. Different. Yeah. Maybe people, they are, they are part of audience who have become too familiar with this and this. They, they are no longer excited. Maybe I fall in that category. Yeah. And it doesn't take away from the brilliance of this record. Now, this record, Peace of My Heart, fantastic record. I like the second part. I like the second part beat more. Flip, I think it's fantastic. What did I tell you? And when the beat flipped, that end part was I, I do think it's familiar. I listened to it. I remember True Love with Tewa. I remember sleep, uh, sl- uh, slide and sleep or sleep and slide with Shinsia and Skilly Bang, uh, Flower Pad. Done before. Then songs from for me from from Made in Lagos, More Love Let's Go. So it sounds very familiar, and that familiarity kind of takes a part of the excitement away. It takes away the shine or the brilliance like, away from uh, the record. Like like it does. Like oh God, okay, it's good though. It's good though. But I mean, I think that's the cost yeah. of being whiskey. Yeah. Once you come out, you you have to drop something we've never heard about before, or you have to surpass what you dropped you've before. Done before. And he's the man that I've set the bar so so high, and and I think maybe people just want like okay, you risk it, you can do something different, you can push yourself. But maybe I also think that. that within the local Afrobeat scene, they want him to be more energetic on his records, yeah, and not R and B, yeah, not too laid back, not to yeah, they want that okay, that's really yeah. yeah. vibe. Give that, us, mm. give us, give us like she she boom. yeah. Your and no matter what, if you go to if you go to parties, no matter what, is that record they play? This one. Is that particular record? Bro. Because that to me is one of the greatest Afrobeat records of all time. Yeah, you, but, you, 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 yeah. you call it his, his greatest, his yeah. his greatest, most yeah. important record. That's yeah. the most important record. That's what really opened the door. Yes. That is the record. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I ain't gonna okay, lie I think to you. you. Legba, but I think that's the precursor yeah, to Yeah, to Yeah. Because I don't think well, yeah. if, if you go to a party, of course, people listen to Essence. But when you put Ojo Legba, Shita, that, now you are talking our language. You get Like, bro. Like, I, I mean, I know you can. If he wants to, if he wants if to he go there, himself, he can go there. I don't, I don't think like a lot of our artists, they are, they are way past their creative peak. I think their best days are behind them. Why? And a lot of them are, can't come to terms with that because that's how music, that's how that's our life work. is. Everybody, that's peaks. how life is. Everybody peaks. You peak now. I don't think Kanye can recreate my my beautiful. Like that that yeah. like I don't think I don't think I can recreate the registration, but it doesn't mean what he's going to do next would not be good. But when you hold it side by side that one, you just be like okay. Like you've picked, you've picked my last favorite, my last good Kanye verse would be Jesus Lord. Yeah, that's a job. See, nigga, pull up on this, it's a nigga stands. Is he an age thing? 
It's just like I think it's also like, a mental thing. Like yeah. what what inspired yeah. you before is not what inspiring you now. For Wiz, you don't expect Wiz to go crazy on the record. This is a man that bro, he lives in luxury. That's why the the, the sound is luxurious. You can't you can't just you know you can't just picture it like okay let me start grinding. No, it's so like know. the curse of success. The yeah. curse of success. And that's yeah. that's where acceptance comes. Just like, I understand. Okay, see, I think maybe I'm not changing these people as I used to. I think right. it's in his vintage era, like, like this is the vintage yeah. period. Like let me just take things slow and okay and all right. It's fine. It happens to the best of them. So now that we're in the conversation of okay, so what's going to be uh the hit songs that are you know are content we don't know if this is a mega super hit. For the conversation of album of the year, what albums do you think impressed you? Album songs artist that impressed you this year that you feel like so we're doing album of the year song of the year artist of the year yeah, yeah that impressed you the most this year let's start from here um albums of the year so albums of the year basically artist of the year go side by side yeah. okay um obviously uh rema okay. rollout was mad for him to do a three for him to do a 180 and say you know what i'm not really going to chase that north american thing again let me let me strategize and go back home pulling it all successfully it was a big creative risk for him, for yeah. Maven and everybody. Yeah. Yes. And he landed it. Not perfectly, but he did to do that. Yeah. I think that's the strongest contender He's for him. visionary. Album. I respect yeah. him. I respect him a lot. Arastar's album, solid. I give it to Love her. Love it. Yeah. The Gelly Gelly. She's, look, every Gen Z body. That's my favorite and it's not just, it's album not just Gelly Gelly. Year, it's, Asha, uh, she, she made an she album She cuts across. No, like she can, an album that can, like she's making music that she wants to compete with men. Men, yes. That's why I, when I explain to people, I, I ask music people, I say, Ira doesn't make music like your average female artist. Yeah. She's not doing, like, wherever that place, she's, she's, she's doing, she's I'm doing going there. Like, she's going Lamba for Lamba. Yeah, she yeah. is. Like, she's giving you Lamba the, the for Lamba. The records with um, yes. Shea Vibes, Vibes Asha 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 she's giving them Lamba for Lamba. Yeah. He's showing that, um, classic for classic. That's this guy, that's this guy that I respect. I go full round do record, and we are killing each other. Yes. So, like Alastar's yeah. album, phenomenal. I love it. I love it. That's my um, favorite album from this. Victoni, I think that's the sleeper hit hit album of the year. Yeah. The way that, because it didn't have that like eat song. Yeah. It didn't like affected the Bro, perception. There are records on that album. I'm like, how did this guy pull it off? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I listened to that Pierre. Was it Pierre for the six? Pierre for six or Pierre for the seven? I, I, I listened to it and I just like. There's a song called. How do you come up with something like this? There's a song it's called crazy. History on the album. Yeah. I think the second track. His pen game on that was no, it's a ridiculous song. album. It's a ridiculous album. It's a think ridiculous album. That very ridiculous album. Like, and he executed it very well. Fourth album, late. He came in late because people didn't give him the chance. We thought it was gone. But Fireboy's album, I did that Mola. Yeah. yeah. That was a late screamer. Was a late screamer. That <laughs> late 90 screamer. minutes. You're feeling the blow with you. I said, it's a hold up. It's hold a late screamer. It's safe. I, th- I think Which it's one? a safe album. So it was, a, it was an album of. This is my favorite Fireboy album ever. Yeah, yeah, for you, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I, why I, I like I the album? Understand. You know why I like the album? This is, this is the album that made me. You know why I like Fire this Boy album? Lover. Fireboy really? was. Fireboy was humble. That Playboy shit didn't work. He let him, please, let me just go back. I'm the guy that they break his heart. I am not the heartbreaker. Jail, hey, Joe. So I saw, let's let's stay on that for a bit. I saw, was it, okay, was it I saw? Okay, I think I was having a conversation with Tolu Daniels and he was talking about this Adi Damola album and he said that the reason, this is me paraphrasing what he said, mm. not word for word, he said that the reason he feels a type of way about this album is because he feels like Fireboy did what the fans ask him to do, mm-hmm. and he doesn't like that as a oh. talent because sometimes <laughs> he feels like artists should be able to give. He did artists now. Artists should be able to give, should be able to stand on their piece and say, "This they is where I am now," as opposed to like. Pia Leo, Pia Leo, telling you what to do. Catch twenty two. What does catch twenty two? Like yeah, in between the DBC yeah, and the rock. Like if yeah, you, you, you like you die. I, I don't know how to explain. Damn if you like, do, damn if you don't. Yeah, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Like, damn but, if you, damn but, don't. but do you get where Tolan is coming from? Where you feel like the yes. fans should not be dictating what like, you do with your music? I agree, Sef. I agree. Like, I think the I, album, I think the fact that, that he feels like, sorry, album. sorry, that he feels like Fireball should have still released something else to buttress what he was trying to do on Adidas Mola. Sorry, on, on Playboy. On Playboy is not a bad no, album. I think the, uh, the Playboy era, right, like, just it, it just didn't it work passed, for him. It didn't work for him. Adidas Mola is good. We're not saying that it's a copy of what he's done. But it's, you know, it's like a restart. You know, I think the key, the major album, the next album is going to be the major album now. Like, okay, define your legacy now. So this one is not defining. Are you then three? Wait, how many has it done? Three yeah, four, four, four. four. This four. is the first one. Three over four. Okay, don't try. Just one more. Let's be greedy. One more. <laughs> then we'll not say, yeah. I, I, th- I think the album sounds like something like it's a very engineered album. Yes. Yes. Like this, absolutely. I don't. Remix. When the engine, that engineer. No is risk. Are you sure? 
What, what? Weeks on Adem, 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 there's zero weeks on Adem, Adem, Adem. Is is it, it, see, see, when you say engineered, there's only one man behind. There's a one man behind the album. The man that was not behind one album, behind Asha Ken's album, was behind Adem, Adem. <laughs> was He was, you could like, see that OJ was telling him, she buy, she buy. It was like, it was sounded like something that he made in the lab, like it was engineered. Even the way the songs flow. It was engineered Bro, properly. It is what engineered that once you play it, you can't stop. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's like, it's really, it's like, it is the same, <laughs> the way he's singing, it's, I don't want to say templates, but it's like, it's textbook. Oh, well, yeah, it's textbook. But wait, why it's do like, you... it's with surgical precision. <laughs> See, shout out to, all I have to say, shout out to Bado. That's all I'm but saying. But why do you guys do this? The what? Why this Bado thing, I find this very funny. Is this why, a Bado wait, wait, wait. Okay. why is that when artists on that Bado, when they release music, fans be saying the ones they think, Bado's hand was not there, and the ones they think. But we Why know. are you people for sure, for sure, saying that Bado was not, was not his hand was not in no good boy right, as compared <laughs> to the previous album? Which album? Who? Who? Huh? Which one? The Playboy album? No, I'm saying that why, why are fans of the opinion that Bado's hand was not in Longu Boy as much as it was in the previous album? Because Simba need you see any credits? You know, you know, you know how many songs Bado had missing credit on, on Walk of Art. <laughs> I'm even when I know of course tough. definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. I'm your kill. He's strong. That one was strong. Walk of Art is crazy. Like Walk of Art. <laughs> It's, it's an album that. What if he wrote on this one and just did not get credit and, and just said, don't put my name on it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Just, just, what just. What do write? Thing. Mood. Worldwide. Skating. Yeah, but don't write that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, so, I, I don't want to like, dwell on the. Uh, but don't. But yeah. yeah. Because, like, like, uh. I know there are things we can see. Yeah. yeah. There are things we can see. But the other um, album was just well engineered. Yeah, but don't. For a combat. For a. Come back because people are already asking questions. That of course, Fire Boy have been dropped like Killian Shelley. People, people were even saying he dropped this album. Is one of Afrobeat's favorite punching back. Any, anybody want to compare anybody in his generation? It's Fire Boy. Fire mm. And I think for, I think I understand that for him and his fans, that's very exhausting. Very. very. And at the same time, it's flattering because you're the litmus test. test for everybody. Yeah. But at the same time, they try to like anybody that's having a moment is better than you. It's better than you. Yeah. Better than you. Like, it can be very, very frustrating. The guy, the guy blocked me on our platform. So, yeah, he doesn't like me. So, I blocked you. It's not a big deal. It's, it's called it happens. He calls. Wait, 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 wait. But you don't, you I, don't criticize him, though. I don't know. Maybe I said something a long time ago that I didn't wait, like. Wait, it's not actually about blocking it. I don't dwell me. on it. Of course, now. Okay. I don't dwell on it. It doesn't. <laughs> I don't dwell on it. <laughs> it's, it's, a good, it's a good sign. It's a good sign. I don't dwell on it. But so, yeah, so I, so I understand, like, since that, I think. I, I, I like to like put myself in their shoes a bit and see where they're coming from. Yeah. At the same time, I try to like be like, okay, I have to say I have a job to do. I'm going to tell you the facts, this, this, and that. So I think, yeah, it's, it's one, it's, it's, it's an album of their contender. A winner for me, no. I think. But a, a discussion about it. Yeah. Fine. I there's no problem. Wait, yeah, yeah. Before we come to you, the one I was talking before. We yeah, I've done yeah. four. There's no more. That's, That's yeah. fine. Okay, what about you? No, it, it does, okay, okay, we should do album first, then yes. song. I think. Yes. Album of the year, me, my album of the year is Arastas. The year 2021. I think I need that clear. Yeah, I don't think yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my favorite album. And you can actually make a very strong argument. I think the album. Of course. I think the then album I roll out. I also just think that Mavens, they need to please continue to push that album. There's still some singles that can be pushed as singles. Yeah, it's just really at market right now. You don't know what's working or what's not going to work. It's true. Man. But at the end of the day, like on like on its own merit, I think the album is fantastic. I think it's fantastic. Apart from I that, Ira is more. I don't think we understand how much of a cultural force Ira is. Yeah, right and now. she would become. Yes. She will become yes. like Ira is like Ira's peak. What she, the level she can get to is going to is astounding. Like yes, what she can still get to, the level she's going to play at. And I love the way she carries herself. I love the way she moves. I, then also another thing that made me like a fan. Fan. I've always been a fan, but her stage performance, yeah. the intentionality. Like, I'm sorry, she's an Afrobeat artist. She doesn't have to go that hard. <laughs> yeah. On stage, Life. No, yeah, that's it. She doesn't have. Yeah, to. She, she has to. You I, need to, I, people, I say, you I need to get people no, to no, raise you, the bar. You understand why I respect her Gosh. and why I respect her as an artist? It's because Ira is an artist that I think no shots caught. One of, I think she reminds me of, like when it comes to the also part of Tiwa Savage. And yeah. these are people who understand that they are not competing with women. They are competing with men. Yeah, that's what makes Ira so successful. Like she knows her competition is Rema mm. Ashake okay. or Mali. Yes, yes, actually. She's not trying yeah. to play safe yeah. at and all. You, don't, you do not do good get next door, lead back kind of You yes. do. Movement. I yes. went. Yeah, you do. Yes. You go Lamba for Lamba, yes. Giro for Giro. Like, I you agree. understand? Like, classic for classic. Yeah. And that's why I really, really love her album. She gave, yeah. like, she went in hard. Yes. Like, everybody that had a verse on that album, I don't think anybody can come outside and put their shit that everybody that era. No. 
You can't. Like Shay vibes. Like Shay vibes had the best first, guest first on that. Yeah, it was the best guest feature on that. Yes, and Aira was still giving him hot. Like she just said this like what was the last thing she said? She said, I'm still I'm still eating off my I'm still eating off my last heat. heat. But that's gangster. Yeah, actually. That's one thing that rappers say. That's yeah. it's not what yes. an RB singer. Yeah. Yeah. An RB singer says. And looks like she raps, she drops lyrics like a man. See that woman commando song. She she is oh, the kind of like, hey guys, hey guys, follow my lead. That's what she's doing. Bro, woman commando. Like, no worry. When that I heard woman commando, song. I said, no, this is that's a hard She's song. playing on a bigger level. <laughs> yeah. So I don't she carries it. Bets of bets of something. The first the first song. Um Kevin Star. Kevin Star. Then the daddy's one. Um I don't see this that song. Yeah, that's on the right too. Yeah. 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 When it reaches that power, I don't like to be sad. Yeah, me yeah, me sad. Me yeah. Sad. Yeah. The song, the song did what it was supposed to do. Even, this, the Dave, first I heard that song, I actually cried. This song on Dave's album, the one, the one that has uh, twenty to one, the one that has the Lazarus. Yeah, yeah. His mother was saying. I know the year that part. That part was crying. Yes, crying. I know the year that part. We just keep on no. Wait, I've never heard this on the first title. I don't. I can't remember. I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you. Bro, if you hear that song. song. Oh. 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 And you know, say Dave is a very emotional guy. Not he's an emotional guy. guy. Yeah. Dave gets give give. He will enter that. Ah. Oh, no. Once he don't enter that emotional part of your rap, you go just. You go pause. You go pause. Sad. You go sad. You one time. I'll see it. Yeah. So next, I mean, see the way I'm gushing about Iras album. Album of the year for me. Like, they are blushing. I, I really like her. I, I like I like her music. Yeah. I respect her as an artist. If I'm if I ever she deserves yeah, if, if 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 I want to sign an artist, that's the person I say see. Templates. See, see, see I love to interview her. See how hard working she is. That's who I want you to be like. She like, is very hard working. And yeah, and like, and I'm not saying this this thing for like for her fans to like me or for she to notice me. Like I could care, I could care less about that, right? You don't even care about this. Thing. Yeah, yeah, but I genuinely do respect her as an artist. Yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah, she, her she, she is. I love how you put her on the high pedestal. Like whenever she drops. Yeah. All those yes, I bash like yes, I, I, I bash ability. See, two minutes after that song came out, I saw it that night. I said, "Bro," and then he was angry. Yeah, that's and, and I, I think maybe <laughs> shout, shout to Mavis because like the, I think they're cool with it. Like they they, they understand. That's why I, I like them. I think I, I respect. See, I respect people behind the business. They get it a lot of times. Only few people. Have, in their like take it personal, and I know why you didn't like that record because like, it was it very people. yeah. Because for someone like I have so much potential, that was to be honest, me. that's one of my least favorite songs by Arista. That's my least favorite. I don't think it's a good song, but I don't want to dwell on it. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's talk about the good parts. Yeah, the album. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So album of the year for me definitely. Yeah, I thought it's one. Open she wins it. Maybe try do two album of the year contenders. The first female artist to win above the year since Simi since Simi. So hopefully, then um second would be is. I don't have to speak objectively. Yeah. Not based on the fact that not I, don't personal, really like, yeah. I don't like the album. Like, based off the impact. Yeah. And although it does not have a widespread impact on people trying to make that kind of music. Like, but we see where he was trying to go with it. Yeah, the fact that he's daring. Yeah. The fact that everyone is like facing one direction. Yes. And he's like, okay, I'm not doing this with you guys. I'm Saved us from our piano. Yeah. Like, Cuckoo. Like, Cuckoo. Like, Cuckoo. like Cuckoo. That, Cuckoo. that album is a bold effort to like, to, 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 to collect Afrobeat from the grip of our piano, especially <laughs> the party scene. You said the mm-hmm. Our party scene was, our piano had a party scene, a choke old. Guy. Can I, can I even speak about that? You go to a Nigerian party. And it's tutu tutu tutu. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny. I love my South African brothers. They've Are done. Really? You... They've Are done. Really what? They've done so much on my piano that it's crazy. You know, it's good. But please, and DJs, it's, we're in Lagos, yeah. Nigeria. Yeah, and to, to, and the funny thing is that when you go to South Africa, they play my piano everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So why are you doing that in Lagos? Yeah. Like I would like. Can you can we please be for real? They, they play they my piano down. everywhere. And you know why it's worse in Nigeria? Because every DJ has the same list of Amapiano piano records. Yeah. He says the same list. Yes, man. That ACBRP, uh, the Ababalele. Ababa Hello, like bro. Like, like, just, I'm not just I'm like, bro. Call me when they when we start to enter. Is a big like? Can we? They, they double down on our piano because they understand that the guys, the guys making like copying their sound at this growing part of their sound have a bigger platform. So they double down. Yeah. Yeah. That's one lesson we can learn. When it comes to gatekeeping, yeah, you gatekeep through ownership. Yeah, yeah, that's how you get to. That's how you the get shit has to be yours. Crap, you say that me get them. do the work. Let me get them. You understand? If our artists are done, so that, no matter what Arashaket did, everybody know I'm a piano. Ah, now it's Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. I know Mitch. Yeah, yeah. He did here now. Let me shoot. Let me shoot your head. That piano can see what I did Let me shoot your head. People for the world they look me see. I will like slap your head away from the place. Don't do let me shoot They've your head. They made a piano list of most uh, streaming piano songs for Nigeria. Now only one song is a champion sound. 
I think, I think so. Yeah, only champion song. Please go and see that. Only one Nigerian song, have you? Yes. And I said, as I want to know the criteria, I said, <laughs> Are you telling me what Ashaka is? It's not my piano. I was like, Okay. If it's not so, why did you use him as face on her piano playlist that time? I, 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 I just did wrong. Uncomfortable agenda. questions. I had to give up. Does it look me that day? Like, you can't problem. I remember when I, I remember when Ashaka <laughs> dropped his first album, DB and Gogo, the one of the uh, biggest DJs. She, she, said, and, she, she and these guys, the. She said, the guys, guys, I've listened to Ashaka's album. It's 90% of my piano. Yes. <laughs> they, yes. They were. They because, doubled because down. Because they, if they allowed Ashaka to continue to do what are you I was joking? doing. Bro. And that's why Spotify couldn't try that using a like, the first on her piano again. The backlash was crazy. So so basically the conversation no explain, that the, no explain, no the com- like, no worry, no worry, no worry. No, that's why Afrobeats with guys who like this. So you yeah. should you should do the work. So that's the thing, like ownership, right? When you want to get keep your own, you, you do it through ownership. Because but we we refuse to do ownership. Everybody wants to feel special. Uh, I don't do Afrobeat. I don't understand Afrobeat. I don't know what's Afrobeat. Now, like you put you put port holes in it. Now there's a narrative problem. And when it's a narrative problem, people want to... That's why Tyler can win. That's why Tyler can win an Afrobeat category. Uh, yes, and particularly tell us, thank you, but thank you. Thank I don't see... That's, that's why this conversation about... Yeah. Uh, 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 I don't see the point in you saying that Tyler can win an Afrobeat category. She can't. This, no, let she me can. explain. She can't. Well, she can't. She can't. Can. Can. The, the problem... No, the problem comes from... You know the problem comes from... Nigerian artists, if you, as a Nigerian artist, you everything is about... It's not always about feelings. It's about your numbers and the yeah. impact that you have. If yeah. a Nigerian artist release a... I'm a piano song that has more numbers than an South African artist. It's the fact. Because see, it's mm-hmm. the numbers. But so you can't say you can't what? be the face. Why, why not? But well, guess what? Eh? But that's, the that's day a Nigerian artist imagine. wins an I'm a piano award. <laughs> if you're doing pure good on my piano, yeah. why not? If nah, you have the numbers, why not? What happened between Super Eagles and Livia? I go be small. That's the thing. Right? So now, when you make an, an Afrobeat song, by all means, win an Afrobeat award. I don't care. Yeah. You your skin. Thank I don't you. Really. But no, no, nah, that's the thing. But what I insist upon is that you have to give Afrobeat the fucking credit it deserves. But I don't understand. Let me let me land. Uh, let me land. land. Now please you please cannot do. make an Afrobeat song, a song that, as we know and yet yeah, it, it is Afrobeat. We what is an Afrobeat song? There's nothing anybody will tell me. Exactly. She would not. She would deny it. She would tell you it's pop piano. Is this and that? No, but she didn't Wait. say that. No, nah. she didn't say. She didn't say it's pop piano. What? She said she represents South Africa and she's. She, but she does represent South Africa. Wait, on an Afrobeat stage. Why not? Wait, listen. She would say this is how it, it went. Thank you for this award. Shout out to the Afrobeat guys that paved the way. Yes. Did fucking pave the way, right? Yeah, we now, now, But she gave a shout Wait. out, Sha. Yes, yeah, she did. Now, that's yeah, a backhanded yeah. compliment. I don't. I, 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 like, she can keep it. But now. See. Wait now, now you now say, but you guys make a mistake of lumping all of us in the same Afrobeat category. For yes. example, me, I don't do Afrobeat. I represent a piano. Listen. Don't forget, she said that part. She did say that part. Don't don't fight it. She said it. You can go and watch it. Now the issue is that I did Bin Water was an piano song. I don't care. It's she's correct to be educating them on that stage. But Water is an Afrobeat song. And when you say that, you take credit away from Afrobeat, and that's where I have a problem with. Now what happened is that Afrobeat would. Afrobeat, the progenitors, people that have come, like people, the, the Banj, the P Square, the Two Face, the, the JJCs, you understand? This guy, the, the Whiskey, the David Doe, the Bonner Boy, these guys have worked hard. The Tiwa Savage, the Yemela they have worked really hard to create the platform. The only reason that award exists is because of the success of Nigerian artists. Fact. Yeah. If she was making pure my piano, she That came with numbers. Piece. If she was making music like Tyler, she was making music like Focalistic. Like Kabza, God bless Kabza. That's the that's Kabza, that's the G. That's the G. That's the G. That's the man. Yeah. That's the man. That's a, that, that, that's, that's a, a that's piano. That's, word, that's, a, that's a, a man piano. Kabza, I have goosebumps. Yeah. If she's making music like Kabza, she will not be on that stage. She will not be on that stage. You made People music like just, a Nigerian. You, you copied our format. She wait, does. listen. Wait, let me land. And you benefited It's not bad team. now. It's not bad. We make hip-hop now. We copy hip hop. It's not a bad it's thing not, to say that. I'm not, I'm not saying it to insult or to be diminish her or to make it look. She's talented. She made it. Is she a piano artist? She called herself an Amapiano artist. Name one Tala Amapiano song. I dare you to. Is she from South Africa? Does she do Amapiano? That, that's, that's it now. Does she do Amapiano? No, she doesn't. So none of her songs... Tell me an Amapiano Tala song. Sit down here and tell me. And tell me what Wait. it's doing for me. So are you saying that there's none of Ama, um, Tala song that she sampled Amapiano? There's a bit she's of Amapiano She's a pop in artist. It. I don't think she does Amapiano. She Wait. does pop. Wait, she's is Ashake she... Ash- Ash- an Amapiano artist? No, he's not. What makes... Uh, do you know Ashake songs? There are Ashake songs that are more heavily my piano leading than Tyler songs. Yes, of course, definitely. There's no Tyler song. No Tyler song a, that sounds about, like Kabza song. There is no, because of this. No, this, wait, wait, wait. These genres have different. Be, wait. Now you're saying that this one is too high to wait, be a piano. This one is too wait, low to be a piano. They don't recognize 
they, if they don't recognize what Ashake is doing at Samapiano, what Tyler is doing is definitely not Samapiano. <laughs> then I'm a piano Tyler song. So I feel like for, my, for Tyler, she does not have as heavy a piano songs as the Amapiano piano. Please guy let's move beyond Tyler. Let's choose yeah, another let's choose, album. I don't want to do it like so this Rema, second album. I feel like you are very unfair to Hasha. I'm not. She's unfair to Afrobeat. She, she should give Afrobeat Afro 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 credit. Third album. Yeah. Wow. Rema, second album. I, I said uh, I was my winner. Rema, second album. Third album, Victoni. Mm, yeah, yeah, sure. Victoni, I think crazy. Uh, uh, my joint fourth would be Luna's Homeless. Mm -hmm. I think it's yeah, it's you and I used to fight that one. Shout no, I'm not fighting on that no, one. No, no, no. If I want to do it, if I want to do a fifth album, I'll yeah. say okay, outside that album of yeah. here, I'll give it to Lona. Shout to Lona, you guys from Canon, so is, 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 we, should, we have that in common. Shout to Lona, I think it's I think it's a really really good strong debut album. I think I think it, I love the fact that he didn't try to play the EP game. Yeah, because he's a newcomer. Because I, I was surprised when they just said he's dropping an album. Yeah, like, I think he's ready. I think he knew he was ready. He knew he was ready, and he went for it. He went for it. Like that's what I I think that's why I think this is one of the things Ashake taught people as well. Now Ashake started with the EP, but that EP was like the beginning because it, it was like it came with the single and everything. For some artists, after that run, the Palazzo, the Terminator, they would have been tempted to just drop like a six-track EP, three new songs, album and time, the album, right? Ashake went in with an album straight. So that's what Luna did, and I respect it. Fantastic album, like good concept, a lot of art, a lot of emotions true story what it feels like what it's feeling like you can connect with it then i think i like madame darius um my address uh, album as well by dotty the deity mm -hmm. yeah i think it's one of those albums that really reminds you of the influence for indigenous Nigerian music folk, folk music, music high life which is still so big AG which is huge gold, big yeah and about 30 no, before ag became yeah. the body bad, the used to be <laughs> shout to EG, right? so yeah so th those i would say join fourth the number five i think it came with the streamer that would be fino full-time job i think mm. i, I think, I think, I think philo came with, with the last with the last minute last I minute header last the only one the only song i've heard is the one that features um that has the hush puppy voice grateful mm. is that grateful the one with the flow the uh, one that was that was, also people giving them advice with, uh, i think that's the, that's the first another one the album, album i'll I pick know. for outsider is uh very, this one is a wild pick left pick 12 summers by boj yeah, oh, listen to the it. album. It's a yeah, very it's good, good album. album. What do you guys think about this Show Them Camp and Cavemen album? I think it's good. I didn't enjoy it a lot. It's good. So it's, good. it's on the same issue we have with Whiskey's a new single, okay. right? We've heard the sound. Mm -hmm. Like if you're a newcomer and you're hearing Show Them Camp off the album, you'll be amazed. You'll be like, oh my god! But bro, I've listened to Show Them Camp since 08, 09. <laughs> I think they even tried to flip it. I think you know with the by one. Paramount Music TV, I think that's where they knew the, the sound has peaked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reception showed that the sound has peaked, so they tried like now do it like. Their job. I think I know too much of Show Them Camp, so I think I'm just I have a delete high of them because yeah. I know all about that whole jaded feeling, life in Lagos, love, yeah. you know, cheating and all that stuff. Love. If you follow tech, especially tech, you know that this is that's a tech album, by the yeah. way. This album is a tech album, by the tech way. Tech or ghost. It's tech, 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 tech. tech, tech. Uh, now it's like the person that used to talk about that yeah. relationship yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's tech. It's tech. You used to say, "Boy, boy, 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 three pies." That's tech. I love that like that. Yeah, but it's still a good album, though. I, I, I think it's like I think it's the way I see the album. Right, I see it as a sound man before meal. I think mm. they tried something that they can perfect on the next album. Yeah, with the. With I think they're in transition of something. Yeah, in, yeah, you get the transition of something with the Instacart and caveman, caveman coming together to do that stuff i think my favorite is the last song the one with um mologo mologo, ah, mologo is the best verse goes, goes Mol take, mologo, the mologo is the best artist that always gets featured on any show them camp break, yeah. um album if you see mologo, mologo if you see mologo on any show them camp project he's, he's, go he's and listen going to each i can't be like mologo to, is yes I go can't enter. Yeah, he, he, mologo and show them camp the, the cheats yeah. the yes, cheats yeah, we don't know if they if they maybe Edis will start doing ten albums like Grammys, ten albums or nomination. I think maybe uh, I think Team Dakulu might have been looking. I think he dropped a very strong album. Although like you know, commercial success, blah blah used to count as well. So I think we need to start even beyond awards like gatekeepers, curators, we need to start expanding beyond Afrobeats and start looking yeah. at other genres yes. to give our industry a chance. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I agree. I agree one hundred percent. Team Dakulu and and yeah, So Okay, before I ask the next question, of course, we're going on a quick break. Don't forget that the entire episode, the full thing, comes out on Monday on your favorite streaming platform. You're only going to break on TV. So you just miss some things on TV, but the full thing comes out on your um, favorite streaming platform on Monday. And this is still Zero Conditions on Pop Central, Channel 189. <laughs> now, 
one part of the conversation that AOT mentioned, we, which is that we need to start looking beyond Afrobeat. Are you, like, for the award system in Nigeria, the conversation where people say things like, artists outside of Afrobeat do not get as much recognition as them high life guys, as them Akbala guys, how do you think that can be fixed? And do you uh, think uh, that's a problem with the award system? They don't system? get as much recognition as the high life guys, Aquala guys. The high life guys and the Aquala guys don't get as much recognition. The other genres don't get as much as Afrobeat. Okay. As the Afrobeat guys. That, do you think that that's a, that's a thing that we need to fix internally? I and don't, how? I don't think it's, an, it's a job for the awards yeah. to do. It's, hmm. a, it's a job for the music industry to, to do. do yes. hmm. To start going beyond, oh, let's sign, let's sign the hottest Afrobeat artists. What about Fuji? What about Juju? High life is still big in the East. What about that? The North is basically on tat. You know, there's gospel music and other genres of music. There's folk. Dotty the Dighty on in, in the normal music industry should be one of the most exciting artists right now. One yeah. of the biggest on the chan. It was a chan. Oh, what was a chan is doing. But it yeah. seems, oh, if you, your music doesn't sound this way, we can't sign you. Right. Yeah. We need to start having that discussion because whether we like it or not, one day Afrobeats go cast. And we need to fall back. And Nigeria is too, we have too many genres of music. That are that are solid with solid fan base, solid consumer base, that we should only be looking at Afrobeats, Afrobeats, Afrobeats. We need to widen the scope. Yeah. When we widen the scope, it's now when awards cannot celebrate you for doing for having an achievement. But if you never achieved anything because you've not heard your music, then yeah. what's there to celebrate? I mean, I, mean, I, I totally agree with you. And I, I think we, we once we can expand the listener base of each genre. Look at country, for example. Look at how strong the strong country listener base is, <laughs> and hip hop as well, and everything. Right. So. It's like we cannot one award show, one award show cannot possibly be even cater for everybody. Cater for everybody. That's mm. like country music awards is on the zoom. Like you can like read, like, there's a country awards. music category in the Grammy. Yeah. But the country artists look forward to CME more CME than is bigger is, yeah. more than the possible. They don't possible play with their Grammy. CME. They don't joke with it. They, they don't joke keep with the hell out of it. Yes. They, they, and I think Beyonce might know it, it is not about that. Oh, Shut she does. Your mouth. <laughs> she does. She does. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Shout out to Shabuzi though. He entered it. There are a lot of boys enter. Yeah. Let's <laughs> Yeah, there's rock music in America, which is huge again. Yeah, huge. different genres of music have yeah. made America and worse. Look at, at hip hop, right? When hip hop feel like they felt like actually um, hip hop is a black, is a black, is black music, right? They felt like okay, we don't like the Grammys are not representing us well. They created there's the B T, then there's the B T hip hop again. Yeah, look at Soul, there's the Soul Train Award, right? Mm -hmm. So there, there are awards to cater for different genres. So like Eddie's, I think Eddie's cannot. Or Nigerian award shows like cannot accurately have, cover everybody. They cover everything. They cannot cover everything. I mean, they could try. I think, like, I, I will applaud Eddie's that they've been more inclusive over the, like more recently. Yeah, the, last three, four, five years. Five years more inclusive, right? But I think number one, the ecosystem, each, 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 each genre. genre, the ecosystem needs to sit down and think about what next. How do we ever pass the part to the next generation yeah. from Fuji? Like they should be encouraging an, an Ashake, the likes of Asuma. When they see Ashake, they tell him do a Fuji album. Yeah. yeah, when they see Ashake, when they see when they see uh, she vibe, they should tell him, they should tell him, yeah, go and do it. We've not had a Fuji breakout star in this country for like 20, 30 years. I was about to mention that. Yeah. It's crazy. Which day, I was which day, I was in a rabbit hole of just studying Fuji, all the Fuji beef, all the Fuji beefs from the 80s downward. Fuji beef is Fuji strong. Beef. With the music, I was listening to all the music that soundtrack it. I listened to all the music Pasuma and Oshoka did during their own two elephants combination all these things like so you understand like there's a lot of stuff there's a strong there. ecosystem there was stuck in a particular generation the button wasn't handed down yeah it wasn't handed down right so it's just about like and when once you could have like and now ev every music every genre can be can be popular yes can be pop can be the without, pop of his time yeah of his time without losing that genre you understand shabuzi is a country artist but for internet and purposes is a pop star so Understand? Yeah. So that's the only way forward. It's now. I don't think we can leave the the, the job to our award. I want me to now. say this industry wide stuff like yes, the, everybody. The bars, yeah. The money then to go and invest it somewhere. High life people should sit down and say, okay, how do we take high life yeah. beyond this? How do we make it modern so a new generation can understand it and embrace it? And also like make it more popular, not be like an east kind of sound thing. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. Like, oh my god, it's just from. Funny enough. High life was southern because there was the one there was high life in, in the southwest, there was high life in south, south, and southeast. Yeah, you know, everybody we just moved on because Fuji took over, Fuji yeah. killed everybody in the 80s. Hmm. So, but uh, high life still remained, you know, top in southeast. Okay. So, Skepta put out a tweet where he said that the UK music scene is dead, smallest, most segregated, so most segregated label run crabs in a barrel scene of all sins. I have tried to collab with everyone whether they are up and coming or not, but if everybody just wants to get signed and segregated, 
what is the point? Maybe because I'm from a nurtured scene, pirate radio, magazine, rave shoots, I'm really feeling the void now. Is the concept of an organic underground scene dead? Mm. You want me to say something? Yeah. It's UK now. It's a bit for UK. Shout out to Olaf. Shout out to C. Shout out to It's just funny that he's saying this when UK rappers are not like the hottest rappers in the world. Yeah. Right? That's one. Um, yeah, so I think it's access. I think that the issue of assets is an issue of labor protecting their prize assets and yeah. not allowing them to true collaboration. Which is around. normal because when it, normal. when our industry begins to get more structured now, everybody's taking care of their yeah. investments. So yeah. those collaborations that were organic before are not going to be organic yeah. again. It's, yeah, yeah. That, it's like simple. People can eat up before and text. Now you have to put on a pin of You have to text a manager, text, mm, send a, text, a, mail yeah, text a mail to somebody. It's normal. Somebody will decide. Like, I, I, somebody said it before. There's this American artist that said before that clearing, clearing a song don't used to be like this. That now he doesn't understand how he has to be speaking to a label before. See, before you just pick up the phone and you speak to your guy. And they clearly so now you have to speak to a labor. I can't remember the rapper that said this. Oh my gosh, okay. One rapper said it. Like, so it's just it's the reality of things. I, I know there's a bit more context yeah, to what's from, yeah, kept saying, but yeah. I mean I don't have it. It's a UK thing. The UK, UK thing. thing. So I hope it's like init, that. An init it's an init thing. Yeah, it's an mm. init thing. Are mm. you guys excited to? Are you guys excited for the beef to end? I saw that Which when, beef? of course, in the house at home here. Beef then Nigeria. Which beef between you and who? Wait, no, speak, me, speak openly. To this beef? Let me get there. <laughs> okay, okay. You must mention names, so. Of course I will. Okay. So when Wizkid, of course, dropped his music and um, David Do's um, cousin tweeted about, I think that one was just in his own corner. Is he a prank? No, yeah. Uh, Shina prank. Yeah. And I, the guy was just tweeting on his own, apparently. Yeah. And the fans went and, you know, they started attacking him. He had to put out another tweet saying, that's not what I'm talking about. Me, I just did it with my own you, thing. Are you, are you buying that? Am I buying you it? You buy that? that? Am I buying his second tweet? Yeah. Yeah, I did actually. Okay. Wow. So are you saying I'm, I'm the one that's the problem here? No, I never said that now. Do you think you're the problem? See, yeah. whatever. <laughs> see, whatever back and forth whiskey that individual have is nothing new in Nigerian music. Yeah, it's just. It's the so the hard. greats have always had beef. It's I'm not tired of it though. I mean, what, this part, this it's part not for you. It's not you for you. Find, I don't find. Do you find? I don't find it entertaining. I don't. That's to you now. I think. I think. I think. From from a media perspective, I think there's a, there's an entertainment entertaining part to it because uh, it's uh, there's a social media part to it now. It's, there's a crash. There's there's there's, there's the crashing that part to it. But I think what I don't like about it is that there's not really a lot of substance to it. There's really no music. Like when we talk about this stuff, twenty years from now. Right, I will talk about. Oh, remember when whiskey and David beefed? When they say, ah, "What can we? What's, what can we listen to 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 refer to this beef?" There's nothing. So are you saying that they should do a music for the beef? There's nothing. There's, it's not about doing it. They are not rappers, right? So I won't say they will do a face of face of. But at least a little bit of reference. There's a bit of reference. A bit of context. Like you know what's exhausting? Like you don't even know what. Like okay, people behind the scene. Like if there's not something, we come up, come out and say, okay, we I had this in confidence and stuff like that. But I mean. The average listener understands what led to the beef between from Jay Z to Nas, from Pusha to Drake, from Drake to Kendrick. The average rap fan understands. Okay, this is this is what you can break it down. Yeah. But now I cannot sit down and say I want to do an explainer of the beef. It's hard. It's too cloudy. It's too cloudy. And even this comment one, even if I have a bit of context, I know what happened behind the scene. It's not something I can see because there's a lot of confidentiality to it. So it's at some point it just be like, okay, you guys are just. It's just like you guys are just making faces in darkness, then you guys are not coming outside and insulting each other. And I think in general, oh, like if if there must be beef, it must it must also push the arts. Yes. Look at the, must Drake. the art. Look at Drake and Kendrick. Yeah. Classic hip-hop. records from both guys. Yeah, hip hop is at hip hop is at its highest. At, yes, it's at its highest. Now. After a very bad last year, they yeah. came out and they're dropping classic albums back and forth. So and let's just tell in the music. Hip hop can win song of the year at the Grammy. Strong chance. Yeah. Win. Not not like us. It's going to be aligning the the the, 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 the this thing. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. All from a beef. So you guys are more concerned about the cultural impact of the beef. Yes, because yes. that should be the cocoa yes, at the end of the as day. A, as, as someone who who, who love hip hop a lot, who spend a lot of time on that, on, like I think an hip hop, we hip hop as a first Afro beat. I think there's there, there should be a bit of context to the beef. Yeah. 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 Wow. So I, I I think that you see to me. Oh, this entire situation, what you guys have said, I totally do not agree. Why? Because I feel like this kind of opinions or this kind of narrative is what continues to fuel beefs. Like, if you're saying things like, oh, this um, Kendrick Lamar, Drake mm-hmm. situation, or oh, there, there's a timeline to it when it comes to the music, yeah. it just basically feels like you guys are saying that 
so long as there's a timeline and it's documented within the music space, it is okay. See, Why competition, can't it be it's, a competition is not bad, though. It's, 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 see, this, this beef has, has Why can't everybody be in peace, though? Competition is not bad, though. It's not. I'm sorry, the world just doesn't work like that. I don't think there's... What did you say? Sorry? Why can't you just be, be in peace and be featuring... It can't happen because so hip-hop is a competitive that. sport. Yeah. There must always be a king. Even music, generally. Or music, generally. Music, generally. Yeah. Prince and MJ. Like, this, the wanted... And mm-hmm. one direction had beef. One third were not like they were pop, they popular. Prince like, and MJ yeah. could not stand each other. Could not stand yeah. each other at all. You know, when Shino Peters dropped his album that was scattered everywhere, KSA was like, I'll pay this guy like one million or one million naira if he does it again. Because he felt like nah, this guy is just yeah. an upstart. He can't do he can't do it again. There will always be beef. Yeah. Oshupa and and, uh, and, and, and and Pasuma. The Fuji was of Oshupa, Pasuma and K1 uh, Kwamo. Almost a decade. Yes, now on almost top, a king on top the title, on top of, the title of king. king. How did he start? They don't get me barista. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. barista. Then I said, okay, who is the king of Fuji? Between who and who went to be barista now? Does is K1 and Oshupa. Okay. That was the issue. Who is the king of Fuji? Barista said K1 is the king of music. Yeah. Music. Oshupa is the king of Fuji. Now then, now so the war, civil war started. And Pasuma, yeah, Pasuma, Pasuma was angry that Oshupa was calling himself the king of yeah. Fuji. And Pasuma now went on. He went to K1, the K Kwamon's side. Side, yeah. That why is he calling himself? Yeah. Calling that and that's why Pasuma called himself the Crown Prince of Fuji. Yeah. <laughs> See, the Fuji. Oh, bro, forget. Forget. And there, there are records. When you hear it, that do hear them. Yeah, they like if they you are go, going back and forth. Go on TikTok. If you have time this night for you go on TikTok. There's a rabbit it's also on TikTok. Here. You see, there's it. a rabbit toad here. And even at that point, they were also understood this beefing on behalf of these guys. Yes. Yes, you understood. It's only recently that I cannot see. Um, Oshupa and Pasuma are actually together yeah. side by side. It's recently, they had it's, a long one. It's just, it's just see, it, it, as curators, right? And for the history of the music itself, uh, again, as AOT said, see, you guys have, you guys have, there's no way they will say they have not benefited from this right now. Of it course. Help so. you build a strong stand for fan base that's pushed you guys to be the best version of yourself. It's always been this two or three until a certain man popped up. I'm sure everybody is the most talented artist in this world. <laughs> Mr. Ogulu. <laughs> that is the best to ever do it in terms of pure talent. That is not anybody's base, right? But so, you guys have, like, and even he himself, he, he, he's, he's had his own fair share of beef among yes. these guys, right? So, it's, mm-hmm. it's, 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 see, there's, there's beef at the top. There's always beef at the top. Like, and if it has helped you guys career-wise, you guys should also use it to promote the art. Uh, we had fame. Yeah, that was a jump. Yep. Yeah, and there was there was subliminals, so, so, sublinim, uh, subliminals. Subs. What's the thing? Subs in this subliminals. thing. Subliminals. Subliminals in this thing. Um, in trust and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. There are some gunshots there. Yeah, gunshots. Yeah. yeah that's that's so it's, it's it's just like so at least when we're going to talk about this music eventually, like and that is years from now, we say go listen to go listen to this record. This, yeah, this record there. There's no reference point. Yeah. So everything oral history, which doesn't. That's why we say one whiskey of. Uh, back to the matter, mm. open and close. Yeah. 50 miles. Yeah. Back the way you know that. We is dead in Lungu with all of them. Like, how did they go? No, this one now is too, it's too British. I really just it's hope too that, Oh my God. I really, it's I, too I, I really just hope that artists continue to remember that these fans are just here for the entertainment. They don't care about. No, as long as it doesn't get violent, I'm fine. Yeah. As long as they know we're bringing out guns, but it's just basically off records. I say, fine, please go at it. Go at it. So, one in one that tweeted something. I'm sure you know one in one that they had. Again, I like one in now. One is a very gifted guy. Uh, he said, every has t- the project coming up. You guys should look out for that. Again. He said, every time motherfuckers drop, it just makes it clearer and clearer that Bonna is superior when it comes to the music. Just go to my page. You just need my opinion on this. Go to my page and search Bonna Boy. So if you guys see what I did, you said. No, no, no. Like, no. What, it, what the things I've said about Bonna Boy's talent. I think there was this time where, okay. like, it, it went on, it was a concert for like two days, and I was dragged to like three spaces. So people, people started dragging him. Sha, sorry. People started dragging him. That. Why is he saying that? He shouldn't be the one to be saying that because he has no blood. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> but as a fan or as a music, as a musician or as a singer, he, he knows talent. Yeah. And you understand the depth of it. And it's very unbanned for Wani. Wani has not been someone to really yes, care actually, about his Yeah. Talent. You know, I, I respect Wani and I love Wani. And I love artists like that. And I respect them. I respect artists who don't feel the need to cater Panda. themselves. Panda to a particular superstar because they want his, their, that OG cosign. To stream their music actually, like that's very bold. I think if you panda like that, yeah, especially when you don't have the talent to match, I don't think it will blow. That's actually very bold. And Wani has talent. Yeah. Wani is singing. Yeah, and I don't think he cares about... Like blowing, he just wants okay, he wants to do good it. music, yeah. He wants to do good music and build a community, right? So, I think, I think that if that sentiment 
that what I've learned and everybody is not is not alone. A couple of other people share that. It's not found now. It's not found now. It's not it's not found. Found. The boy it's has found done it. it. I don't understand. saying that the problem is that we can't take away the man away from the artist. That's the thing. No, no, no. Yeah. I tell you, in my opinion, in my opinion, no. I'll just keep it Nigerian mainstream music, right? Because if I if I take it like all over, it will be like apples and tomatoes, this and mm-hmm. that. But in the issue of Nigerian mainstream music, I don't think there's anybody as talented as Mwapi. There's just one person that they can say, okay, it's him and this person. And <laughs> I'll put him above that person. Even though if you put that person above him, I will not fight you. Yeah. I think it's I know the bad. person. Yeah. Ah! In up terms up. of range, eh? I've ah. said it too. In terms of range in this country, Two Face and Bonner. Yeah. It's fight to the death. Trust me. Yeah. You can't put them. Put two them side by side. Yeah. If you say it's too bad, oh well, I'll go. It's fine. If you say for me, for me, I know why you say that. I don't think they say. Bonner will do R and B. He will do dancehall. Hip hop. He will do. Uh, if he tell so you that, that a rapper. If he tell you that he wants to rap, there was this day he said, I said if you guys should be happy if he say he doesn't want to be doing rap. If he wants to be rap, he will body all of you. So, so if someone that wanted to share that sentiment, it's not unfounded. I mean, he's talking about Bonner boy here. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Bona, Bona and Two-Face at the... Yeah, I mean, I was listening for instance with the, when I was driving, I was just like, oh my God. But I, th- I think we should take a minute to talk about like Two-Face for like, I think that these, some people, some really young people in this generation might never understand... You see, that's the problem. You say young. Yeah. You say young. Yeah. The brilliance of Two-Face. And I think that because of how like he's not trying to do music like right now... He's doing actually, working on an album. Yeah. He's dropping an he's album. Yeah, he's working on an album. He's working on an album. I hope he gets the verses. He, the, 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 the verses. See, me, I don't, care. Like, I don't care. I don't even get, you I don't get verses. Care. That day, it drop. doesn't even need to even give. I don't even think he needs no, all that. No, for that, for that thing again, you're saying that, oh, you need yeah. a younger yeah. audience yeah. so yeah. to understand. You need to be able to evolve, like tap into the face. creative space. Walk that's with that's actually insane. God. He's actually insane. See, I can remember. <laughs> yeah, it was. Same. I can remember where I was. See, my life into studying music, where I like music, was growing up. I grew up in Kano, Sabongiri. 47 feet. I didn't know you grew up in Kano. Yes, now. I grew up in Kano. I was born in Kano. So oh, are you for real? Yes, now. <laughs> you don't want to like a crazy person sometimes. Beg your pardon? So you say Kano. Okay. No, no, no. Kano, Kano, Dabo. Kano to Biggie. We are calling because you want Pika. You see how? Hey! No, oh, normal. <laughs> anyway, it was normal. Anyway, so like, I had people, they used to play Cisco, like neighbors, like, oh, that guy, and they were playing Plantation album. Plantation album. Oh, no! Oh, oh, damn. I was like, who be these people? I was like six. I'll be writing, I'll be writing it down, writing it down. I remember then I, I was in when I uh, 2004, face to face. 2004. I was 2005, I think I was in like primary, I was in primary five or four. That album came out. Then grass to grace. By grass to grace, I don't the find gather money, buy CDs and everything in the physical era. Mm. So I understand like I will not be a vehemently, strongly musical, uh, musical two person. Face, two face from Plantation like Boys to that face to face era. Bro, I swear. he does not miss it. He was on fire. No, two face. And also two face is the reason why we believe that our generation believe that we can do this. Thing. Yeah, we can go far. He's the one that gave us that yeah. courage. Like, he's taught us how one. to make music. He, no, 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 no. Two face. And my reference, my reference track for him. I mean, there's, there's anyone you can, you can mention anyone for me mm-hmm. when I say. When I say I want to recommend someone for someone to listen to Fizz's genius, it's only me. Which ah, one? Only me. To say not not just just me. Where's the to... comeback album now, bro? See, that's one of the best writing I've ever seen in my life. I feel like me, I, ah, the writing. Me, oh, when, whenever I think about like Two Face music, Two Face has too many gems, sir. I only. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right here. You. That, you see that only me? You see dancing in the rain. Oh, oh, oh. Is it tear drops? Uh, dancing the rain, hmm. tears drop. Oh God! Yeah. Uh, like I got wait. I have to go and jam it in school and this night. Wait, wait. 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 They play that thing for social night. True love. True love. True <laughs> love. True no, but Tubaba, she needs to come back with that yeah. album. I'm yeah, looking so, forward to that album. Yeah, Tubaba. I think Tubaba, um, Bonaboy, most talented. Yeah. And it doesn't like. Take away from anybody. Yeah, else. yeah I mean, yeah. you could, like, when it comes to the greatest, I will never concede beyond those two. Like, those are, like, if there's a mat- like conversation of the most talented artists in this show, Afrobeat, it has to be those two. It has to be those two. Talented. Those two. Pop music. two those two. For me, it's Bonaboy, but it has to be those two. But when it comes to the greatest, yeah, the conversation can be like. 
four, opened up five to other people. Yeah, you opened up to more people. Yeah. Four or five people. So, so, the, so the conversation is the most talented, yeah. not the most greatest. No, okay, that, greatest. I, I hear that. I mean, the greatest I hear is that. different. I hear that 100%. Which emerging artists are you excited about? I feel like last year we had a lot of emerging... Um, the breakout star, breakout superstars that came and dominated this year. It just feels like they're doing the music, they're trying. But which ones are exciting to you? This year, I, 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 I Kista did, did for me this year a lot. Kista oh. is good. Kista, Igberi, Kista. Kista drop Igberi, drop Kista. my Dilla, drop the EP. I, I think, I think, I think, I think Kista is one of the people bringing indigenous vibrancy to our music and, and in an exciting way, yeah, all the way from Port Harcourt, PH Just, boy, yeah, going to Port Harcourt, bringing that sound. I think Kista is, I think Kista has. The talent to become a driving force for our music, especially when it comes to sonic evolution. I think once his music can find a mass audience, I think I think it's going to lead us in a, in a rich sonic direction. So there's Kista, I mean there's Luna of course, mm -hmm. there's Taves. Uh, I, think yeah, I, like Taves. I think Taves is I think Taves is is making music that I think we've not had. I mean we've always had people within that era. But it's making like that bring that Yankee. Rema, we had Rema, we had whiskey, and I think now we have peeps. Like it's making music that it should be making music for a generation. For a generation, like, mm -hmm. I think yes. If you're 30, like myself, I might not really be. No, I, I like the sound, yeah, but I love the sound. I when I hear that, like, I want to sign this boy. This reminds me of Justin Bieber when mm -hmm. Justin Bieber was making music. Yeah. Understand? So yeah. yeah, so like talented, like it's making music that that you know that you want to watch him grow, like document how his music evolved over time and everything. Yeah. yeah. So there's um. The shine TTW, the shine is good as fuck. Yeah, KDF, I mean KDF, I think she's hard. She's crazy. She's, she's crazy. hard. Like she's really hard. The way um, she very unpredictable. Unpredictable. Her range is crazy. And why I like her is that she she's 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 making sound that maybe you've heard it before. You're like you know it like that dancehall vibe, but she still finds a way to bring something. So yeah, make it more than yes. To make it more of her. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, like make yeah make make more of her. You can find that a lot in that, in that yep. sound. Yeah. So yeah, those are. Those are the people I'll say I'm here. I mean, shout out everybody, shout out. Then, uh, of course, the, the street guys, um, <laughs> TML, Moise. Moise, um, yeah. I am forgetting. I am off. Yeah, I am off. All of them. Yeah. Nas Boy, of course. I mean, how will I forget Nas Boy? <laughs> That's Nas Boy is one of the breakout stars of the Two Face Junior. He's a mixture of Tuba and, and Davido. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 a mixture of both of them. What, what I, I, I'm really impressed about how he's gone from a comedian to an artist. Yeah. Like it's, it's now like there's an acceptance of being, being a yes. musician. Yeah. There's a penetration of his um, art as an, yeah. as, as an art, artist yes. to yes. As, as, a, as a singer now. So the conversation, so when he came, he was having a, we're having a conversation about how he feels that because he has done, he's a comedian, you know, on social media and people have known him as that, it's difficult for him to be able to do music and people accept him. 100 percent just because of they know him as that do you think that the fans make it difficult for artists to try other things and also have like and not put them in a box because a lot of times artists be complain about being put in a box be, be it with genres be it with yeah. who they collaborate with be it with like evolving and i also worry that a lot of times when we have these conversations we always sometimes say that oh this take for example like for Wiz, when people be saying oh my god he keeps doing this R and B sound, they want him to go back to Joel Legba, want him to go back to this. How do how do artists like find a balance between staying, doing what they want to do, finding their own niche and just or going to, going towards what the fans want? It's just I feel like the, the, the lives of artists are just very chaotic. For that boy, I think if you've been doing comedy for a while, people just as naturally accepted you as, you know, a comedian. Then you now saying you want to sing. It feels like a cash grab because we've seen some comedians yeah. do that and like yeah, yeah, just keep cracking jokes. Yeah. I don't think it's the easiest transition. Even in America, it took Jamie Foxx a while yeah. for him so to break out. So now yeah. people say, oh, he can sing. Yeah. He just needs consistency. That was all. Yeah. He needs to be consistent with it. Yeah, and, and I, I, I like the fact that he was never quiet about the fact that he's a singer. Yes. Yeah, yeah. even and in his kids, you could he, see that he wanted to, he was always saying, I can sing, I can yes, sing. He started off music. Uh, yeah, before. He was signed by, was signed by Motola before. Yes, yes. He stopped me walk out and everything. So it's like, I mean, that, so it's, um, He's, he has that part, and he's, he, there's a lot of hard work as well. Yes. So now there's the talent part of it. There's no like for him, it's not a gimmick. No Nas boy, this is not Nas boy trying to say, oh, this is a gimmick. Mm -hmm. This is uh, as he said, I just want to. Skit. Music is popular now. I want to. Yeah, That's what he always wanted to do. Yes, yeah, so he wants to be a musician. He's a musician, and he, he makes good music. He makes like you might not like all his song. His song might sound a bit like dated, like old school Afrobeat, maybe 
uh, what's up called mama and papa Afrobeat. that's what i like too. about the music yeah actually. like you see that that song with chiki i love that song love i'm not the biggest fan of umbrella i'm not biggest fan of umbrella. Fan of umbrella. the one one day no which one is it i shall don't fall in love oh no, nah, I didn't like the short skirt one because I feel that was like. I don't love. Oh, I, love I, I like that song. Short, I don't like short skirt. Because that one was obviously let's go viral on TikTok. Yeah, I didn't yeah, like yeah, that it's, one. It's very, uh, it's very but I like that one. I was talking about hunger in the land or something. That I was about to go there. The verse that Vector dropped on that song was hard. It's Vector now. It's Vector now. Waiting on if we wake Vector, give me Baba, give me a team. We give you a team. Just just like, it's not a, a difficult level ten, delivery level ten, key like, level ten. All right, ten. <laughs> you know, it's very cool. And he does it with so much swag. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, yes, it's cool. In NATO, in NATO, in in NATO, ice springs, coolest. Yeah, coolest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they there's do rap in a very then, cool then way. Classy. Then there's Alaga on another level. Of no, yeah. Alaga is Alaga is yeah. premium. Alaga, you please come like. It does are the boss. Like we are the boss. Yeah. yeah so. But anyway, shout out to Nas Boy. So like, so like you said, it's just the fans not taking you seriously and you consistently doing it. You have to just be consistent. It's, it's difficult to evolve. So like, it's difficult to move from being something to become something else. Now, what people like to do is that they like to leverage their stardom in something else in something. Doesn't like, work. Like for example, you are you are a music you are you are a famous actor. Then you want to leverage that your stardom into music. It doesn't always work. Mm-hmm. And if at all anything, it show it has failed consistently. That's why Nas Boy success needs to be applauded. Do you know how big in every voice when she started to make an, make one go, one logo logo line? Mm-hmm. No mouth. That's her mm-hmm. that's her album name now. Yeah, one logo logo one, line. One this logo, was Genevieve at the height of Genevieve could enter any house and they would say, Bro, Genevieve. Bro, Genevieve was a god. Omatola to try this. Omatola to G Mike. G Mike. Bro. Then she got the rap scene. Well, she had a period when only would act as an actress. Oh, that was the cash grab for them. Really yeah, yeah, we're going to be become the next. No, there was there was some bad music that that, that, no, the, that, that there that, was one that uh, you Samsung, song. Samsung made one music with somebody who stole the meat from. Do you know that song? Who stole the meat? That's a lie. From the cooking pot. That's a. You might give the song. Why go they lie? There's a song. Go to your Spotify. You might give the song. Mama, I give... didn't steal the meat That's from the it. cooking pot. Who started? They said they lie. This song know they exist. There's a time that you know we are really. Samsung, Samsung, Samsung the Bianule, Bianule mm. is on the song with someone else. Who stole the meat? Yes, who stole the meat? From Jemai the cooking pot, I swear to God, it's a song. Jemai did a song with Two-Face. You don't have to like your music for long. Melody, Jemai did a song with Two-Face. You hear that song, you will laugh. Yes. You will laugh. You will this, laugh. But Genevieve actually had a hit too. No yes, more. Yes, yes, we yes, forced ourselves to like yeah, that song. Yeah, we forced ourselves to like that. But then Mama G worked out because Mama G brought movie and music. It was like a soundtrack. Because you don't get that. It was like this guy too now. Or Sophia. Or Sophia. You, you know he wasn't the one singing. It together. You know he wasn't the one singing. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was this man. It was the producer. Stanley Stanley Okori, Okori, that was Stanley Okori that was doing all the music. They did like a soundtrack. Yeah. So they're basically doing there's soundtracks. Like, there's like huh? there's like a there's a I'm cinematic sorry. experience to the music. Yeah, it feels as if you are watching them. When did somebody talk about uh, all the single ladies, Nago girls band, a national cake, now me get that. I know that one. President, my brother. It feels like you are watching a movie, and that's what they're playing. Wait, did you guys just casually move from what you just mentioned? Stanley Okori doing what? Yes, Stanley Okori was on that song. Yeah, that did the Osofia album. So he was just that would mind me. You just lip sync. You lip sync it. it. Oh my god! But there was actually a period when Nollywood actors and actresses were going hard with this music thing, Uh and they felt like no. She was when Kentasha was in gospel. Yeah, (laughs) all of them like. It, it was had like almost all of them that were. But Faust has been able to successfully do it. Faust, right? But Faust blew as an artist now. But he's been able to now combine it with acting and also like comedy. Then uh, yeah. it's easier to, it's to it's leverage easier acting, to act acting, music, and acting. We've yes, seen musicians turn into actors. Yes, yes it's now. easy. Yeah. It's not. It's not. Yes, it's, not it's, it's, even in US, it's, that's, it's not a Nigerian thing. In US, it's actually a thing. Yes, yes, a thing. Yeah. It's a thing where you are you are you are popular popular artist. There you are popular. There you make a movie. The biggest example is Will Smith. Now, Will Smith was a rapper. Or even all the young guys. The 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 um Tyrese, all these mm-hmm. guys, them Coco Jones, yeah, a lot of young Ice guys. Ice Cube was a Ice rapper. Cube. They told him, guy, come out, and from there, he just had yeah. yeah. Two pack get him. Ah, uh, two pack get like six films. Yeah, now, before he died. So anybody, fee, but if but from another like from BB Ninja, see, I popular. Huh. You know how many winners have not have struggled to make it. BB Ninja has only produced one one person that can identify as an artist. Who? One. Who? Bacon. The is actually the most talented out of yeah, the bunch. Yeah, he's the most talented. That's the only person that we can... Is that he the most yes, talented of the bunch or he's the one that blew the most of the bunch? Who sabi which Leko among all of them? See that you, you call the person. Who, who get talent? Him. No, who get talent? Is he the one that... Who, 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 who? Is he the... Who, who, who? Uh, oh, no, but I shout in the area. Yeah. Now, nah, come on. 
Hmm. Lagos State has the most credible talent. Ever. Like yes, say, now the most like the most like the evidence of talent that this guy actually. Well, what like, like, what, what Nigeria even gives you is popularity. I don't think it gives you access to not leverage into another industry. You don't even get music, music audience. You get mm. audience yes. when you find gossip. You won't consider them music. Yeah. Like, we don't want that. Yeah, now people Nigeria is gossip. Yeah. No off fights the, off the road with that shit. Co- go go hat. That's the best thing. It's the best way for you to get go hat. Tire. The two tires, Abi. No. Kule, um, um, what's the name? Bakri. and the other one. The, one the Bakri guy, what's his name? Toby. Toby, Toby Bakri. Yeah. Toby, Toby transitioned very well. Yes. Toby, yeah, Toby, Toby transitioned very well. Yeah. yeah. Tayo. Tayo funny not too. You yeah. tried. You did okay. Sola. Yeah, him. Because I was an actress before she even jumped into Brooklyn, Nigeria. Yeah. yeah. Was, yeah. Like, show biz. Go to show biz. Hey, Buka. See. Mm. So do you guys think that it's easier for people to break into the movie industry than it is for them to break into the music industry? The Nigerian movie industry is the hardest to anybody. See, movie industry has a low barrier. You can enter the movie industry. Yes, you now. You can enter Nollywood tomorrow and they'll give you just guarantee one YouTube film. You collect support. Also, know somebody, I'm sorry. Like, you know, if you, you can know somebody, you can get a scene. Yes. You, you get, you, you be in a good movie. And you, see, your talents might not be all there because we know people that are not that talented. It's Nollywood. Person. I said but the barrier low. They, they, they always get low because, yeah, because you find, you, they, you sabi people, music, you feel sabi people. They feel give you verse, they give you verse tomorrow. But if your music no good, bro, no good, bro. they can put you in the same camp with Peruzi. Peruzi can write all your records. Yeah. Come out. Nigerians was like, no. Nah, bro, no. no. Off the road. Like, come off, of, come out, off mic. Come off, off of stage. Just to go. Off the road. What? <laughs> now that you guys are <laughs> Just now. Music is... See, music, music is a daily show. I used to tell uh, imagine yeah. artists that, see, come. You have to... Be, whenever they say, okay, we need to, you need, we need to speak imagine I say, you need to read your mind that it's possible that you will not blow. Yes. That you're a total failure in this. I, that's why sometimes that's why I I I I, I hold back on Chris. I used to go hard on big artists. You can take it now. You are big now. You you, sh- you shouldn't be doing this with the resources at your disposal. But guys that are just starting out, I'm, I have like a lot of grace for them. Yeah, you grace, a lot of tolerance lot. for them. Cause I know you guys are not there and everything. Music hard. Music not like hard. not making it too. Like making it is about ability, talent, how good you are, right? Yeah. But you see that to blow. Successful. Ah, that's success of music. <laughs> you know why it's crazy? Because luck has a lot to eat it. Hmm. Luck has a lot. The crowd might just look at you and say... More than the The public might just listen to you and just Do you like, know it is difficult to get a hit song than to make a good album? Yes, sir. Yeah. Anybody can make a good anybody album. Can, like, anybody good can. album is just, is just work ethic, a, a bit of talent, and play direction. A bit of talent... For good see, album, yeah, you see, it, the decent album. album. You the see, you, album. you cannot see anybody with a bit of talent cannot objectively make a bad song. You understand? Yeah. Like once you understand the rudimentary of music and you get a bit of talent, like if not to just essentially cosplay with kid, like you know, goodness definitely make like objectively. But say me that song enter. But say me that song enter something else. Oh, <laughs> so that's where number one, like elevated talent shows and element of luck. It's song, a lot of luck goes into it. And something that is a kind of dependent on luck, like their strategy, promotional strategy and stuff like that. But the fact that there's a luck factor to it. Hmm. Therefore, you know, to not become a star. You know, <laughs> like for mu- mu- a, mu- a movie, you can, like um, James Cameron, you can bet 95% of 100 that any movie will drop. In a, in His, a name's box gold. Office, His name's good. His name's good now. But in Nigeria... If they say name TV artist, you can bet 95% that they drop an album. By Gwenta, you can know if you name four. Music is hard. Ah. <laughs> see, you all gotta do music. First go to Bad Beach first. Go wash your hands. Ah. <laughs> ah. Go and pray. But also knowing this, isn't that like a lot of pressure too for the people that are in because when we talk about music being hard, I'm talking about I would first of all attack the fact that you people are saying now that music is very hard to break through. It's hard to make a hit song and all of that. This time last year, when we're talking about music and the penetration of music, you guys said, I know I remember having a show with AOT, and AOT was like, it's easier to penetrate music now and have a hit song because of social media. Yeah, I was comparing yeah. it to back then. Yeah, I'm back not saying then, that it's easier. Yeah. So well, how, has, how come this year now we've not seen so much workings with the social media it's, platforms? It's life. That's how yeah, life is. Life. There are it's ups uh, and downs. Like like the, the, rap like rap lost, last yeah. year was terrible. Yeah, when diminishing return. When it's diminishing return. We're not turning out return. enough interesting people who sing anymore. So. Yeah, and and the, the, if you look at the hit song from the last two years, it's been it's been thanks to one person. Like, the industry has told the part thanks to one person. Mm. And we know who. Take that guy out of the last two years. Take that guy out of the last two years, there are going to be questions. And that's because one of we can argue that maybe there's someone that would have filled the void or something like that. But, but not we, as big as that. We, cannot, argue, we cannot remove the fact that what in the last about? two years, Ashake has defined what our music sound like. Oh. You mm-hmm. understand, right? So, 
like now we've, we're in that era where in this 24 we we have seen the front the back and the center of our piano featured in afrobeat <laughs> Like so do you think piano, almost, the Amapiano piano fusion contributed a lot to this? It's it drought. It, it's contributed. For me see, personally, if I hear do do, I'm like, bro. It contributed. <laughs> I would, it, contrib <laughs> as, yeah, it contributed, <laughs> but it played its role. Yeah. Every music has its time. We don't go from Bangolo. We don't go to Banku to Ghana bounce. You know, to Shaku Shaku, we don't to Zanku, to must, Malian. It felt like Amapiano didn't want to gra go out gracefully. That like artists were shockingly dry. That yeah, low. Like, so this is that now uh, you know the, the, the other issue, the saturation. There are too many artists. We have more artists than we've ever had. And Nigeria, our listener base is still screwing. Uh, the, the industry is like this. It's, it's still like growing. this. I want to put a whole thing. No, you know, no. no. You understand? Like we we now all of you guys are sharing the same listeners. Yeah. And your fan being fan. And you're not taking out the older guys because yeah, the older like guys so are still there. Yeah, so, so, like, yeah, so those are the top like, three, top four. Athletes. No, those ones are the yeah. they are the they are the they are the demons in the you know, they know the consu the, the supply is so much supply is too much for the demand and so like and everything is sounding alike. It's and some not, people sound like there's nothing there's nothing there's nothing like heads and shoulders above. That's why when we at time where we've seen records that are clearly super, like superlative and better than the rest, they're blue. Ashake, Oja Piano, Buga. And cool, but now you the year all of them are just they're just operating some artists, at the mid at the midpoint. So artists sound like the fourth photocopy of an original artist. Yeah. So when you photocopy, photocopy, it gets yeah. watered down, watered down. Like, bro, I know where you got this from. There is nothing exciting. You are not even doing better than the person that you, you get them. No, don't bother yourself. I think there's no innovation that much. And that's maybe because of the money people are putting in the market. Nobody wants to try anything wild, like just drown the way everybody drown. You see us, you see how I understand it's wearing short skirts. Wear your short skirt like that. Yep. So don't bother yourself. Don't say don't you try are, something new. Don't mm -mm, mm -mm, follow the templates. Thank I mean, you. Like I people are saying, I should template see today. I had an EP of a, a guy I really love, imagine that is. I really love. They asked me, do you use this EP? So I, I told them I can't. I won't. Because if I review it, it won't be good. Because then I should cosplay. It's from beginning to end. It's an Ashake copy copycat project. This is Ashake imitation, and it's an uh, imitation is like the biggest form like of flattery. Fla form of flattery, right? But this one, like you flatter, you don't flatter yourself. You, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah, flatter you, what you have. Yeah, you flattery. don't shine like you're, like you're not even like we can't find you. Like you could do it, and we can still find you in it. I mean, we knew how she vibe came about. I was about to say that mm -hmm. now, but, but that didn't work. But it, that because you found she vibe. No, because she if you listen, you know that when this guy is different. You know, say okay, this person follow. Or is it Bank of America? Needs. But when ah. you hear, you go hear him, you go hear well, Lamba. Ah, Lamba will say, "Is oh see, Shay vibes Lamba is original to him." Yes. The way he's mixing the feel key, feel key. So he's mixing key. He's mixing key. You know, key. Mm -hmm. you know is melodious. Akpala. Shay vibes is more chanting. Yes, yeah, punchy. He's punchy. Shay vibes is more punchy. Chants. He doesn't. He doesn't add melody too much. He doesn't talk like that. They go. They go. I think he's talking to you. Yes, sir. So it's, it's that's why you have to find you can't find you in it. We just it's just like you are doing covers of mm -hmm. a particular artist. You understand? Like, I mean, it's I mean, last year was good. We had Charlie Poppy and Odubu because they broke the norm. Yeah. They looked at rap and scattered rap, scattered everything on top. We put it on their head. And and, and Charlie Poppy is like the last hmm? person to come off Ama piano. The last exciting thing to come yeah. off Ama piano. Iman, the last piano yeah, because yeah. of that is beneath flow. That is beneath flow. You brought something new into it. The Oja, uh, brought mm. the Oja flute into it. Like, there's no, what do you want to go and bring into it now again? Not that vibe. Like, mm. see, it's you played know, out. Don't do. It's played out. We are begging you. Give South, South Africa a collect. We are it's done. It's played out. Come it's on. Not, it's played out. So it's not. It's not. It's like so. I think that's also affecting it because if there's a dominant sound, then you add your own flavor to it. It helps you blow. She 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 vibe did it. It helped him. Charlie Poppy did it. I did the beneath vibe. It helped him. Casey did it. He had a, he had another mainstream run. Now we have no like even our piano is standing on one. Our piano feature is standing on one foot now. It's standing on one foot now. So you can now now see I want to use this one to blow. Like we know the year and McGee, you don't tire us, you won't go use and blow. So that's why even means like new acts are struggling because there's no a particular sound mm -hmm. they can like bring their own uniqueness into. You see the people that broke out between 1920, 21, like the the what that whiskey style, yeah. they mm -hmm. added their own bit of touch to it. You understand? They had their own bit of touch to it and they became who they, who they became Omali, Rema, and Co. They, like U Stars, Loji, and everything. And then the, those, the street guys also added a bit of what Badu has done to, yeah. to, what, they are, to what they are doing. Bella Shmoda, Zino, and Mobad, like, you know, being influenced by Nera and everything like that, right? So they bite off 
a popular sound and a yeah. popular artist. But, but there's no dominant sound. I don't, I don't think now. any producer are ready to say, let me push a new sound. I don't know. So, so what's the role of the producers in all of this drought? Um, uh, to break a new to sound. Create, like, to, see, they have to push themselves together to craft a new sound. But you see, that's why, again, that's why I don't think people appreciate when a, gener- a generational talent pops up because you don't see them often. I said that it might take 10 years before you see someone like a Shaka again. Like, ha, he's going to go, someone like him will pop in four years. Like, like, yeah, people see? underestimate a Shaka. Like, like, it's, it's not easy. Like that. Him it's and no easy. Majesty coming together to do that stuff. And how it's widespread and, and like it became like a fever. Everybody was doing the same thing. Like it's that's that's era defining. That's era defining. And we have to like if we are looking at era defining with the with the length it has had, like three years, 2022, 2023, it's still it's still that sound is still the dominant sound thing now, yeah. even though it's waning, it's still the dominant sound thing now. <laughs> People and just enjoy remember. Yeah. Remember it's back on the in a limbo. It's we are waiting for what next while we are still holding on to it, right? So like if you look at era defining sound that have that lingered for that long, you, you you can just count like one, two, three, four, five, six. Like there's not a lot of them. There's not a lot of them. So it's not about like okay, producers want to push the the the, the, the sonic boundaries. They want to evolve the sound, but you need someone like an Ashake. Yeah, that can even follow you. Yeah, that can take it, it, take it and there. drop bam, 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 like knock the nail till you enter. When you had a mokwe, you like okay, wow, this guy is good. They knock you sumba. Like what? They knock you palazzo. When I heard palazzo, I said yes. Yes, that's that's yeah. that's why that's his most important uh, song yeah. to me. I just I always say palazzo is the reason why everything worked out. Palazzo. Which when song, I heard palazzo, which song is the song that he went on Instagram? I think it was holding God. Organize. Organize. Oh no, at that point, he already heard Nigeria. He knew that. He's, he's there was no over. way that he's over. He don't say no. Every, at that point, you don't die. Everybody don't, don't finish. When we saw that video, like, you guys are in trouble. See, when the teaser for palazzo came out, you mean that boss? I said, please, is he rapping or is he singing the ah. OG? I don't understand. I told them, I told them like, what's happening? Like, it's finished. It's, it's over. over. It's over. It's <laughs> over. This song. This song. <laughs> Once Palazzo n- enter, Palazzo was a kind of a mix for him. I think that's why he didn't drop it on like on his own. Like, yeah. just, him, him and Spinal dropped it. And once Palazzo enter, bam! Um, and people they talk Palazzo, burger, chicken. I'm um, more peace to you next. Go. Peace runs to you next. Terminator. Um, bam! Organize. Yes. Bam! Give an album joint. Ah, uh, so yes. Nah, yes. That, that was the moment. That is wrong. That is wrong. Shot everybody. Yeah, don't get it. They don't get it. So it's not. It doesn't come that. So we have to. We have to. The, we still. Uh, another thing I described from this year is that we're still tethered, strongly tethered to the big three. Yes. They don't want the, to go. Nobody yes. wants to kill them. That's yes. see. You know what I think. I. Uh, this might sound controversial, but I think. I think a lot of our stars, they are they are way past their peak. The people who are almost stepping to their shoes are not just as good as them. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. They're not just. As I felt that the old nineteen generation. Are too laid back for them to have that. They seem that they have hit their peak already. I'm sorry. See, look at you know when Two Face, the band, P Square, the Big Three, yeah. dropping albums every two years. You know what them Olami Day, the video of Whiskey, Whiskey did. did. Between those two years, they were dropping albums. They were dropping remix. They were flooding the market so much that when it came time for them Two Face to come out, and came and changed. There was a new generation. Yeah. So, Propel it like so. They chase them out of the market. Olamide will, uh-huh. will give you album every year. You still drop remixes, features. Banga. Whiskey don't drop album for a long time. But you see that that yeah yeah, David was even the worst. David had like a seven year run, no album. And they drop, and, but every year they do. David will want use Bedu Two thousand seventeen, three number ones. He will give you. Is it Bedu you want? The most reliable. That's why. Uh, that's why it's called the most reliable. Zero zero one. Ever. Ever. Zero zero one. Sure. Most reliable beat maker ever. When you're asking, <laughs> when you're asking yourself, when you're asking yourself, where's David Do? Trust me. If you want it, it's called me. That's the man. That's the man. Is there a but this is good, Jen. Reliable. Everybody like a two-year like rollout. You know, we're gonna take a. It's too much artsiness. Like they want. I'm artsy. You like too much explanation. That's why Shakespeare stole the scene. Because when you see your artsiness. Yes, now you see they do my sound is did they explain your sound? I said, I don't know the knock on that bed. I don't know the knock on that bed. Maybe that later, you know, they explain That's sound. why I respect Keys. <laughs> you guys think Keys is not talented? You think he cannot nobody, speak? Nobody can explain it. Have you, you, you noticed that? My concept. Have you noticed that? When the moon, <laughs> when the moon, when the moon, <laughs> solar have you noticed that? And my, my, and now, I know that Keys doesn't do roll out. Keys, no, they follow the solar. You wake up in the morning and say, Keys, don't get you song. What is now? Keys, what are you doing? What are you doing? Kizaya, Kizaya, that's his studio. That's his studio. Yeah, studio. What's the problem? Why? Why do like this? They do like this. Inbox. Inbox. They're in trouble. You see, they know Sabi. They don't do. And you guys see too much. Shall I? See, 
You want the explanation? Too much artsiness. You want to you want to sample things you shouldn't sample. You want form. Now, now see, you go enter one chance. You think you, you think they cannot do it? You think Kiss is not is not educated enough? Wait, for, it's not you think Kiss doesn't private. know? Kiss doesn't know where you're sampling from? Kiss doesn't know where more. Rap, Kiss will rap as British person for your own song. He said the rapper no the rapper no answer. No answer and he run he run it by himself. You know why? Because it comes from that generation. I wrote an article and I wrote an article on why it might be the most underappreciated songwriter. Sweat sweat. Twitter, I swear, if you listen to Twitter, the way he wrote that song, right? Now, Twitter is conceptualized like a folk song. Like, if you go to a bar, it's like a Panwai joint, and there's a live music performer. You can play it, it's and the, the, live, the live performer wants to sing modern pop music. That's how it's going to divide. He's going to use Twerk and say Twerk. Twerk yeah. And he was dropping social commentary. One it is, Tim Wong. You said something, but oh. and he was saying things like me. I don't care me. I get money. Kiss is a like social commentary and a classic was, life singer. Actually. Yes, and genre like people don't understand that it's difficult to make genre specific mm-hmm. writing. Mm-hmm. This guy was making folk Afrobeat of music and he was writing Afrobeat in a folk kind of pattern. They use it. They use and, had, twerk, and it was very twerk. current. Yeah, and the the beat. See, so that's why this thing that this comes with actually being really good musically, not yes, actually. being not being fake. Yeah. Fake deep, that's in his code. I don't like it. You just take a picture of your plant. Like, you are the only one that listens to music from abroad and he wants to just conceptualize and conceptualize. I'm not music deep, that's what he's already doing. Nobody gets my sound. Like, I'm like, yeah, you know, <laughs> sweet. Bro, <laughs> you know, just sweet. When it comes to sound in this world, Nigeria has some of the most varied sounds in this, in this world. But you don't just, you don't just appreciate your country. That's you don't just have to no. Go and listen to the people where Sabi sound in this country. You go wrong. Hmm. So Kiss is a yeah. bad, Kiss is a yeah. bad man. I think, I think, I think that's why I want with David, Kiss, uh, Davido, whiskey, Davido, Bonner Boy, Bado, Tiwa, Yemi, although Yemi don't, Yemi don't retire from being a pop. She's a, she they collect money for live shows now, and she they make music with older generation. She know they make music with her own peers again. But you see, Tiwa, Kiss. See, wake up Bado, wake up Bado up tomorrow. So you need Bando. Bando. Yeah, I think even AG is a bit of that generation. That AG is a part of that generation. So this guy is like. They, they understand prioritizing music over artsiness, over fake deep. Drop the I think bed, the other guys, like, they, they, they care too much about perception, optics, explanating, explain, explaining what is behind the music. And that's where the problem starts to come Shall I hear? Even that's why there's this artist, I don't want to mention his name because I love him. When he entered, they drop Bedu, like, proper Bedu. But when he walk on, they explain. Yeah, you guys don't like me. You guys don't get the music. You got, like Nadia, you don't you know, enter again because you don't, your mind don't they come out from just making mm. simple, straightforward mm. they do. And Bro, pop music. I miss the era of Nigerian music when they tell you, Omo, the song is dropping 12 p.m. and on time. Then the bad era, 12 p.m. We are dropping the song. 12 midnight. Everybody, everybody, everybody go wake up. Say yes, this is Bedu. And it's time. So those basically, were, those are the Bedu days, man. Basically, as we wrap up, what you're trying to say in this conversation is that you feel like the reason we still have, we're still holding on deep to the big, yeah, big teta, three we're is because teta of today. the ones after them have not been able to step in grandly see, into the. Number shoes. one, I don't think they are better than them. Mm-hmm. Number two, I don't think they are as hungry as them. And number three, I think, I think, I think, and it's problematic for me. I think it's, I, oh, no, I think it's disturbing for me where I'm seeing things like they might have picked. The people, have, like the generation after them, some of those stars there, we will not mention names. Mm-hmm. But the generation, we know the generation after. Now, the generation after Whiskey, um, Davido, Bonner, mm-hmm. they're now, Kiss is, Kiss, Tiwa, they're, yeah. 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 they're, they're all with them. Whiskey, yeah. AG, AG, they're all with the Whiskey generation, cool, cool like that. So, like, generation after them. Uh-huh. Some of them look like they have peaked. How now? When you've not become superstars, you've not become like A-list artists. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, they are A-listers already now. I mean, they are A-listers already now. There's Come A-list. All of them. They are all A-listers, but they look like they genuinely look like they have peaked. And if you look at, they're not all A-listers. If you look at the new artists, if you look at yeah, and if you look at the run, those guys from 2011, some people in 2014, people like Kiss in 2014 and cool. Like if you look at the run they had and the run they're still having, and the, how long so it can took for the them to have after peaked. Them how long have that you have picked? You know, okay, we can say, I think there are some people that have picked. Bonner never picked. Bonner is at his peak now. Yeah, he's at his peak now. He's at his own peak now. Mm-hmm. There are people that will say, okay, among them that they have picked. So if you look at how long it takes, how long it took, so, rather, like, this one's crazy. Cannot, the ones coming after them might This one, some of them look like they have picked already. They look, they look gassed out. They like they have gassed out already. And you guys, like, you guys are supposed to be the one to take the party. But these guys, they know they can't tap on us. They see they on our phone. They, they see they follow you say, oh, Bro, we have to respect them. That's why I will never listen to anything that tries to take 
the expand afro beat to a big four if there's a big four it's like go and find big three for your generation no i've said that you should just take away the big three and just look for your own <laughs> thank like, you yeah the same should, the same should go. it's okay it's okay we're going thank you so much Adia, Sorry. Yo, Adia. <laughs> Thank you so much, Adair and Elisuzu, for putting up on me tonight. It was absolutely fantastic having you guys in the studio. Yeah, I feel yeah. like anytime you guys come, I just have to just sit down. I was like, wow. So, but I say once, they'll be like, yes, this is right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, eh? Woo, eh? Afrobeat grandfather. And, uh, Afrobeat priest. I don't know, by tomorrow, Adair is going to give us one major banger on Twitter. Adair is always... If you say they are stupid, I'm going to say Twitter, I'm always just laughing. No, my work now. Always, no, my work now. What is all this? Nigeria is doing it. I'm a Af conscious citizen. Afrobeat fighter. Afrobeat <laughs> Nigeria fighter. Afrobeat and Nigeria fighter. If anybody's looking for Adeo, please come and meet me. I know where he lives. Mm. And on that note, pay me. I'll take you to Adeo's house. Wow. I'll, 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 I'll deliver it you to you. You sell me for 30 pieces of silver. I will. I'll sell wow. you. I never get money to buy for you. But yes, thank you so much for coming to the studio, guys. Please follow them on social media at Adeo. Um, on Instagram and on Twitter. Yeah, Adiyo Nesco, Adiyo, both Instagram and Twitter. Just search Adiyo, you're going to find me. I'm kind of famous. <laughs> <laughs> and please search for at AOT2 on social media. He's he's now, you know, he's he's a grandfather, so he's eh? kind of... His calm as is this guy for that way they wear earrings. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. You're seeing your glory days too, Abby. Bro, bro, I'm an intern. I just start. You just... <laughs> you've, not, you've not picked. I'm not... Far. You're, not... Far. you're, not... you're seeing your glory days. Hey. Okay, all right, that's fine. Please go and show love to Tolani on social media, on Instagram. Ask him to come back, oh, because at this point, I feel like Tipin chased him out of Nigeria, and he has, in fact, chosen not to come back. And even... And he, to be very honest, he's not like... He's intentionally doing it. He's been really busy with work and it's been difficult trying to get everybody together to do the podcast because life is happening. The world is happening. Tan is busy. And even if I'm even going to go on a sabbatical, work sabbatical, <laughs> work sabbatical soon and there will be nobody to do the podcast. So I feel like at this point, um, just give us some time. We would find a way to make our you know, schedule work and be around to shoot the podcast. Tan is, going, is currently away. I'm also going away for a bit. But we'll find a time and we'll come back to, re to record the podcast. But in the meantime, please keep following us on social media at Zero Condition Podcast. We'll let you guys know when we'll be coming back to continue the podcast. But now we actually do have to go on a break because there's nobody available. I'm going on. I'm going on some work things soon. And Tran is not available. But yes, when we come back, we'll let you guys know. I'm probably noticing saying we are back. But in the meantime, keep watching us, the old episodes, and keep supporting us on social media. When are you guys going condition. to come back? Man, when we find out, when we align on our... This year or to next year? When we align on our, on our schedule... Okay. That's gonna pay me. Let me be only down the fort. She pay you. She <laughs> only for the culture. It's not for the. Uh, okay. Only for, for the culture. For the culture. But we're going for the culture. <laughs> but we're going on a break, and we definitely announce when we're coming back. But yes, keep showing us love, and thank you so much for always supporting us and supporting our, you know, mixing of schedules, and keep supporting Pop Central too. My name is Melody. Bye bye. See you soon. Shut up.